Hi guys, welcome Hello. to our first battle report. My name's Dave. I pretty much well, a bit of a dog's body really. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you get coffee. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I get coffee. <laughs> coffee My. runs. First battle report today. Um, it's going to be awesome. Over to you guys. Okay, cool. So today uh, we have got the uh, forces of the Imperium led by old man Yarrick against uh, a huge orc war not led by Gaskell. Uh, Unfortunately. Yeah, that would have been, been nice. the classic that showdown, but I haven't yeah. got him yet. Yeah. I'm going to get the model pretty soon, I think. Maybe next time. Yeah, yeah. So uh, today I'm bringing a uh, Catachin Guard, custard flavoured croutons, and an Imperial Knight. And you're just bringing lots and lots of green, aren't you? Yeah, basically? yeah. So I've got, um, it's the list that I just took this last weekend to an event called uh, Death Before Dishonor, which was an event that kind of mixed uh, painting and uh, gaming together. So I ended up winning the event with the army. So I came third for painting and I came third for, uh, and I came third for gaming. So that combined meant that I won the event overall, but it didn't, so it didn't come first gaming. Not to brag, though. Not to no, brag. no. And I don't think this list would come first gaming You won a massive sword. <laughs> yeah, it is a big sword. Here's the photograph. Yeah, yeah. That's a bit, more, a, bit, a bit more work for Dave to do that. Um, yeah, so um, I don't think it's not... Uh, having seen how it plays against Dark Eldar and the fact that GSC can now vex stuff, I think this list is... Probably on its way it's out a little bit. Yeah, it? I don't think so you can run looters now I mean, and rely on them. Because yeah, you can just turn them off. Yeah, if you think that GNC Lacul can now vex yeah. reliably what five times a game. Yeah, that's two very good armies in the meta who can just turn off looters. Yeah. So, and I imagine you'll want to be turning off looters through oh, the course of this absolutely. game. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so um, shall we go see the armies? See the armies? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay, so here is the 2,000 point Orc army. So it's a uh, triple battalion. Um, so the first battalion here is uh, Evil Sons. So those are the ones with the kind of blue pants on, uh, led by the war boss with the blue squig and the blue weird boy. So in this, there's two lots of 30 Orc boys with choppers, each led with a knob with a power claw. Then we've got 20 shooter boys. They're just standard shooter boys with an Orc knob. Uh, the uh, weird boy with this detachment, he's got um, the jump, so he'll be hopefully moving big blobs of boys up the board. Uh, the war boss here is actually the warlord also, so he's got the uh, relic power claw, and he's got the warlord trait which allows him to add one to his damage uh, when he charges, gets charged, or heroically intervenes. Also, the combination of warlord trait and relic it allows him to reroll hits and wounds uh, in the round of combat when he charges, charged, or intervenes. Um, so that means with a combination of spells and stuff, you can have him wound uh, knights on a two-up reroll in hit and wound. So hopefully we'll try and get that little combo to go off and maybe take down the knight in Corbin's list that way. Uh, and then that detachment's rounded out with a six-man unit of storm boys who are just there to kind of fill the list out points-wise and to grab onto any objectives. Uh, we then got another detachment. So the remaining two detachments are uh, Bad Moons, which are the ones that re-roll the ones on their uh, hit rolls in the shooting phase. So that's led by a big mech in Mega Armor, although instead of Mega Armor, he's got a rather snazzy uh, shield he's built for himself there. Um, so there's a big mech in Mega Armor with a Power Claw. He's got a custom force field as well. The weird boy in this detachment, he's got Fists of Gork, so he's there to kind of boost up the war bosses and then we'll hurl them out into combat. And then we have nine uh, mech guns, which are smasher guns in this case. And then that detachment's rounded out by the three troop choices of Grotz. And then we've got one final detachment, which again is uh, Bad Moon, so re-rolling ones in the shooting phase. You can probably guess why it's Bad Moons when you see the models stood at the back. So those are the looters, a unit of 15 and a unit of 10. Uh, this is led by another war boss, this is the spare war boss or the second in command. Uh, he's got a big chopper and for this game beforehand I'm going to spend one point to turn this into the gobshot thunder boss which is effectively a triple heavy flamer to try and rinse through some guard. Uh, his accompanying weird boy has warpath which will give plus one attack to a unit of boys. Uh, once again rounded out by three lots of grots who are there to die for the looters. Um, so that takes us through the entire list. Okay, so here here we are with the Imperial Soup Kitchen. Um, so we're starting off with a Guard Battalion, 
there's 90 guardsmen in there. The 40 points of squad, and with the buffs, they'll be kicking out 37 shots at strength 3 and 32 attacks at strength 4. So really nasty, really cheap, really efficient for what you actually get. So moving on then to the rest of the brigade, uh, we have a priest with chainsword, auto gun, and last pistol. He has the Emperor's Conclave Relic, which basically lets me roll 2d6 and pick the lowest for leadership. Uh, it does some fun things with attacks when he dies as well, but I'm hoping that won't happen. Uh, we have a company commander who is the Warlord, so he's got a uh, Grand Strategist, so I can get some command points back. We have Sergeant Harker here, a company commander with the Vigilous Warlord trait, so he'll be letting me reroll ones in the fight phase. And then we have Strachan here, just to add to all the attacks. Uh, we've got Commissar Yarrick, who's going to be letting me do all the extra damage to all these orcs, which is just lovely. Uh, two mortar squads, a basilisk, bare bones basilisk with a heavy bolter, nothing exciting going on there. Three sentinels with multi lasers, again, cheap as chips, that's what we want. And then we're on to the, uh, the fun stuff. Um, we've got three shield captains on Dawn Eagle jet bikes. So the one with the red bonnet has the Auric Aquilus, which is a relic jet bike, gives him a three up interval, lets him reroll charges. And the one with the black helmet has the Eagle's Eye, which just gives him a uh, three up interval. Then we're on to the knight. <laughs> of course, he's taken Iron Bullock. So he's on a four up interval, and for a command point, I can put him on a three. I've also taken the Endless Fury, which is a relic. Gatling cannon, it's an extra two shots and any unmodified hit rolls of six counts two hits, not one. I'm hoping that can do some serious damage. Yeah, it can be really nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully that should mince through some boys, but uh, the last time I used it I didn't roll a single six, so yeah, we'll see what happens. So, welcome to the Forge in uh, Trafford, Manchester. We're here for the inaugural Dangerous Terrain Battle Report. Um, at stake today is the rather beautiful home team mugs. So these are going to pass, exchange hands between myself and Corbin each time we play, so we've got the winners and losers mugs here. Uh, by rights, right now, I am a loser, because we played this once before, um, and uh, I lost, well you, no, 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 no. I, I lost this matchup, same army, same setup, same everything, uh, and I did lose it the first time round, so we'll see, we'll see how it goes today. Uh, so Corbin, what are we playing? Okay, so we're playing an ETC style mission, which combines an Eternal War mission with a Maelstrom mission, and there is a kill point differential as well, which is capped at six. Um, it's something that you might see if you go to a tournament in the UK. ITC is becoming a bit more common, but this is something we see a lot. Uh, so the Eternal War mission is the Four Pillars, uh, so basically the objectives in the Four Corners, whoever holds the most gets victory points, and they can only be held with troops. Um, it has the typical Slay the Warlord, First Strike and Line Breaker, and you get one victory point if you killed more in that turn than yeah. your opponent. Yeah, so there's up to four available each turn, in yeah. theory, four victory points per turn for yeah. that mission. Yeah. And it is worth just mentioning that we are using fixed objective deployments. Uh, again, it's something you'll see a lot of tournament. Yeah, the four pillars aren't exactly where they would be for the missions, but this is how it will be adapted yeah. for most tournament packs. Yeah. Yeah. It just stops one player overloading their side, and then it's kind of game over yeah. in deployment, which keeps it a bit more interesting. Uh, so in terms of the Maelstrom mission, we're playing Disruptive Signals. Uh, essentially, you get four cards per turn. Mm. Uh, your opponent can pay one command point to stop you getting one for that turn. You still keep it, you can get it the next turn, but it stops you that turn, which could be quite big. Yeah, it's a nice it's little touch. Big. I like a lot of the new Maelstrom missions. I think there's a lot of really nice ones. There's in some the interesting stuff yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, there is. There's some good ones in there. Um, um, so, at present, Sam lost the roll off, which means he actually won it. Yeah. <laughs> so he gets to go first, and let's yeah, so I try and seize roll. want to seize. Yeah. I think I do. Yeah, let's zoom in and have a look at the seize roll. One thing to mention first, though, is that we uh, will be treating all ground floor um, of buildings as line of sight blocking. It's yeah. just something that prevents uh, an absolute pasting if you go second. And it's an <laughs> adaption that's on many tournaments as well. So let's take a look at the seize roll. Okay. I will pray to the dice gods that I still get to go first. Oh! oh it's so close, but it's not there. Right. Okay. 
Uh, we do right. just have to run through uh, as part of the maelstrom. We can discard up to six cards. So we'll yes. just run you through say what you've got rid of really quickly. So I have got rid of Witch Hunter because I think the chances of me getting Sam Psychers is really low. Uh, I've got a Regimental Pride, which is kill a character with a guard character. Um, hopefully I'll be keeping them near combat, but out of combat, and uh, they're not really good at shooting, so yeah, that's not a good one for me. Uh, I've got rid of Domination, no way am I getting all six objectives. Masters of the War, because I have no Psychers. Priority Orders Received, because it can really mess you up if you're trying to get your Warlord across the board to secure an objective, or kill a tank, or something like that, it's just not good. Uh, and advance because there is no way that I want that basilisk to move out of my deployment. Okay. Great, so the six I'm getting rid of are domination. I don't feel there's much chance that I'll be on every single objective against the big horde of guard, and if I am, I've probably won already. Um, advance because my mech guns are not leaving the deployment zone. Big game hunter. Uh, the only thing really eligible is the knight. The basilisk can be yeah, hidden, and I don't want to be told what turn to kill the knight on. Uh, priority orders received, because it's the worst card in the deck. Uh, Witch hunter. Uh, he left his psychers in the officer's mess, so there's no fun bringing that one. They're not even here. And uh, scour the skies. There's no flyer in the army either, so those are the ones that I've cut out. Well, you could go for the shield captains, but oh yeah, the shield captains can fly. Yeah, but they're they're going to be quite well wrapped, so I'll probably, uh, <laughs> we probably know you love not. Shield yeah. captains. <laughs> Oh, I hate sure captains. Okay, so we'll be back then uh, at the end of Sam's first movement phase. Mm -hmm. So the end of turn one movement for the orcs. Uh, I've pushed all the grocks up a little bit, moved the looters out. So at the end of the movement phase, that's one CP spent, and they are now mobbed up. So I'm down to 16. Uh, so that's now one big unit of 25 for the rest of the game. Uh, this unit of boys have come up here to have a go at that sentinel. Uh, the storm boys have just done a regular 12 inch move up, or 13 inches because they're evil sons, uh, to sit on objective five. So that will get me mission critical just here. Um, and that has pretty much been it for movement. Uh, for the psychic phase, there's actually no spells really to cast this time. Uh, it's a bit of a risk casting with orcs because he can burn his brain out because there's other orcs nearby. Yeah, so there's no point just trying to cast anything for the sake of it. Um, so we'll move on to shooting where the objective is just to try and use these looters to rinse off as much guard as I possibly can in the first turn. Um, so we'll roll a d3 for the number of shots for the looters. It's a one, so that'll be a command point. And they're getting. One, One shot each, uh, so that's me down to 15. Only so, 15? Yeah. Just 15. Hmm. So I'm still going to spend two to make them trigger extra shots on fives and sixes. Uh, and uh, we'll see about paying to fire them twice. So the first time they fire, we're going to split them as roughly 50-50 as possible into black squad and grey squad just there. Fives so and sixes to hit, and fives and sixes trigger extra shots as well because of that... Uh, Stratagem I've just played, and I re-roll any ones for evil sons, uh, for bad moons, sorry. So that's three hits, which generates three extra shots, of which one more hit, so four hits. Wounding them on twos, so that's four saves at minus one on black squad. Okay, so four saves at minus one, mm -hmm. I would be on a six, but I'm actually getting plus two, so uh -huh. I'm on a four. And I pass them all. Nice. Mm. Okay, so then we'll fire into the back squad with 13 shots. Talking for a lot of fives and sixes to show up here. <laughs> Reroll my ones though, so I might get a couple more. Yeah, uh, three right. so far. Yeah. Ooh. Takes me up to six, so I roll six additional shots. Nice. Uh, Rerolling ones. And that's three more hits, so wow. I have one there to reroll as well. And that's another hit. That's and I have big. twos to wound these poor guardsmen. That is three nine, uh, nine saves to be made on them at minus one. So back to five ups for them, is it? In prepared positions? Yeah, they've only got the prepared positions, so looking for fives. And I fail. One, two, three, four, five. Five of them dead. Okay. So there we go, nice and easy. <laughs> and I will fire, uh, pay to fire them again, it's not the best use of it really, but I do need to try and thin out some guardsmen. So next time we'll put 12 shots into grey, 13, in, oh black have still gone to ground, they we? have, yeah. So let's do uh, 10 shots into grey and uh, we'll do 
Mm. No, 15 into grey, 10 into blue. So here is 15 shots going into grey squad, try and finish them off and get that victory point for uh, first blood or first strike as it's now called. So we've started off with six hits, so six additional shots. And we six additional shots, we can reroll two ones, we get nothing. And two's to win those five remaining guardsmen, and that's five saves on them. So these are still on fives, let's see what we get. Ooh. Only three drop. Oh dear. Well, you could potentially save them. And then, oops, and then go in into blue squad. We roll in the ones. It's five hits, so we can fire five additional shots. Of which two more hits. That's seven hits on blue squad and five wounds on blue squad. Two fail. Same again. This time I'm on sixes. Oh no, five, sorry, Anna. And I fail them all. Oh, I'll fail four. Fail four. Okay. So leadership going to be an issue for both squads yeah. there. Okay, so that's the loot is done with, and I'm down to 13 command points. Mm. Just 13. Yeah, that could have been devastating if I'd have gotten three, <laughs> but I had two shots to try and get the big number of shots out of them, and it just didn't happen. Right, let's have a pop with the mech guns. Let's put one mech gun into this unlucky sentinel down the back. So mech guns get D3 shots each. That one gets one shot. It's on a four. That's a six, so that gives me an extra shot with the Dakar rule. And that's a hit as well, but no extra shot this time. So to wound, I need to roll two dice and match or beat the toughness of that sentinel. So let's go. That definitely that wounds. definitely beats it. And so does so that. that. So that's two at AP minus four, so no saves. Um, two d6 no, damage. No saves. Ooh, hoo -hoo. That's seven damage to the sentinel, which will kill it. That works. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he's in range to explode onto anything. No. Nope. So he just... Comes off, and that's mm -hmm. first strike for Sam. Okay. Uh, if I can just interrupt, just for a second, yeah. I just need to just focus on this okay. absolutely gorgeous terrain that Sam's painted and made. It's awesome. Look at this terrain, dude. Yeah, we've got some weathered kind of jungle themed to an extent. Sorry, it's the I, just had, I just had to interrupt because I, I didn't notice it before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the spores growing. Yeah, the spores the to grow. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. So the four at the back. They're going to bully Black Squad. Black Squad is still on plus two to the same. That's why it's AP minus four. Not bothered. <laughs> and then the front remaining four. One will go into this squad of two guys remaining. Yeah. And the other three will go there. So let's try one gun into the squad of two guys. Number of shots. It's two this time. Four's to hit. That's one hit. And so that's a two. So add to the second dice. That's a four. So it beats his toughness. Wounds him at AP minus four. So that'll be just the sergeant left in that grey squad. Now we've got three going into the weakened blue squad. Uh, so that's uh, two shots for those two, and one for this one. And then again, fours to hit, sixes cause an extra shot, so let's do an extra shot. So we get three hits on the blue squad, and to wound, a three on this dice will wound regardless. A two can't fail, because the next dice I put with it's got to be a one, so that's three dead from that squad. From the blue squad? Yeah, and then we've got four now going into black squad. Let's roll those as well. That gives me three for that one, three for that one, three for that one, for ten shots to roll. Ouch. Uh, one extra shot for the six. And there we have it, five. So threes will wound automatically, and twos will wound auto as well, because when you put a one with it, it becomes the toughness three, so that's five dead from Black Squad. Okay, so assault. Um, I'm going to put... Uh, the storm boys into the sentinel just to pile myself onto objective five. Let's try for some overwatch mm -hmm. then. Yay! All missed. No hits, and in they go. Oh, the rain's what a surprise. <laughs> They've made it with six inches. Put two around the back there to hold the objective, and then this squad here are going to have a go at this sentinel there. So you've got your own Same again. Once again. Yeah. No hits. No. And their charge range. They can charge having advanced because there's war bosses nearby. Nice. They get 11 inches, so they'll make the most of that. Yeah, so the, yeah, the strike carriers are, are dropping troops off the ground just to put them 
Okay, so assault activations. Let's try the storm boys first. They'll just pile in to lock this sentinel and hope they don't kill it to save themselves. So they get three attacks for the uh, four attacks for the knob, in fact, and then three for each of the other guys, of which there's five more. Looking for three to hit it, and then fives and sixes to wound it. What a miss is there. Five and sixes to wound that sentinel, and you've got. That's above average there. Yeah. Five saves to make on the sentinel. No rend? Nope, no rend on those, just regular chopper ups. Uh, three wounds. Okay, down to half wounds on the sentinel. Then let's attack and pile in over this side as well. So I'll attack with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boys there, so that'll be 14 attacks. Sorry, no, it won't be 21 because there's 20 in the unit. Sounds like cheating. <laughs> No, if you're above 20 with orcs, you get yourself an extra attack for each orc. Yeah, so it's just the orcs that are cheating there. Yeah. <laughs> Threes once again. That's a nice roll. Mm. Yeah. That's pretty good. And then fives and sixes to do the wounds. All wounds. All wounds. That's what we want. All wounds. Oh, there's a lot of wounds there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wounds in total. Okay. So we're looking for fours. And he takes three wounds again. That's good. Didn't really want it to die there. So it's my rat. Three wounds and would you chuck a three on? That guy. But I get to hit you back. Mm-hmm. You're doing the sentinel. So we are looking at one attack. Hitting on Come on that sentinel. This guy here, come on. Hits. Ooh. That's a win. Right. This guy over here. Hits. Come on. Wounds. That's one six up save to save the orc. Nope, nope. that's one dead storm boy. Yeah. There he goes. Go on, Mr. Sentinel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the end of my turn then. So at the end of that turn, I have scored more speed go faster because three units of Grox advanced. I've scored overwhelming firepower for downing that Sentinel. I've not begun Defend 4 and I'll discard it. And Mission Critical 5 I've got there with the storm boys. So that scores me one, two, three this turn. There we go. And you've got one. And I've got one for yeah. That takes me up to four on VP on the cards and the um, first blood. So then I guess we'll come back and see what's happened at the end of the first turn of guard movement. Okay, so try and, time to draw my cards. First one I get is assassinate. Lovely. Death from afar. Destroy an enemy unit in their deployment with something in your deployment. Should be able to do that. We have Supremacy, control any three objective markers. Might be tricky, but we'll see. And hold the line, which cannot be achieved on the first turn anyway. But I guess it's an auto for next turn. So we're back after my movements. So that's my movement phase done. Shield captains have pushed forward, so as a knight, all of the guard here have just kind of had to move around, just keep the characters shielded or move forward. This last three-man squad has come over to this side to potentially camp that objective. And that's about it in terms of movement. So there's no psychic in my army, so we are now on to the orders phase. Um, I've only got three squads in range for shooting this turn, so this front five-man black squad is going to get first rank, second rank, and the two mod squads hidden in the ruins have already got reroll ones to hit because of Harker, so they're going to get reroll ones to wound as well. So we can go straight on to that then, and we'll start off with the black squad going into that teeny tiny squad of grots yep, there. Ten -man squad of grots. Cool. Two, four, six, <laughs> eight shots. <laughs> Hitting on fours, re-rolling all for Yarrick, wounding all, will it be threes? Uh, it will be threes, yeah, the toughest two little grots. So here we go. So Yarrick is already doing well. There we go. And we're looking for threes this time. 
Oh, only one. Yeah. Oh, just oh, one. Dear. One six up to save that grot's life. Nope, that's yeah. one grot down. So they'll be vulnerable to leadership now. <laughs> <laughs> it only oh, takes okay. one. Um, and what I'm going to do is put the first mortar squad into the okay. looters. Okay. As soon as you wound, I can declare it. Okay. So it's 3d6 shots. And we have seven, ten shots. Three, yep. six, eight. Ten. Better check if they're in range of Yarrick, I think. No, he's easily out, isn't he? Yeah, it looks like way more than six if he's over there in between yeah. infantry, yeah. So it's fours re-rolling ones, and then fours re-rolling ones to wound? Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, that's right. So here we go. Toughness four orcs. Couple of ones. That's still not a bad roll. Mm -hmm. um, fours again. Uh, no ones to re-roll, only three wounds. Okay, so uh, now that the wound did, I'll spend one and shunt them over to the grots because every looter lost is a big danger. So two ops to pass over. So one will go on a looter, he'll get a six up save. And one looter's dead, and two grots die. One, two. Which looter don't like you? Come off. <laughs> okay, so we have the same coming from the second mm -hmm. squad. May as well try and thin the herd a bit. This time we have 14 shots, that's more like it. Three, six, nine, ten. 14. So same again, fours re rolling yeah. ones and fours re rolling ones. Oh, that's a cop down. Mm -hmm. That's much better. And just the one one, which I can't convert. Ooh, two, four, six, seven. Okay, so once again, I'm passing them over to the poor grots. And all but one goes to a grot, so six for a looter, who passes, and six dead grots. That's just one left in that squad, so he's definitely running unless he, gets, unless he buys it some other way. <laughs> okay, so now let's see if I can get death from afar. Um, I may as well go for this one. the front for rage. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can hit that table over there with this, yeah. so... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean my range coming back. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, so we've got 2d6, pick the highest, re-roll the lowest. Because I'm Catachin. Re-roll that two. For yeah, so four, not mm -hmm. too bad. So that's a fourth. Four's re-rolling ones. Oh my god. Yeah. One hit. One hit. And it will be three to wounds, 29. That's a wound, a wound. A five up on the match star, uh, shield. Nope, no. Fails, so then D3 damage. D3 is it? damage coming through. It's a one. That's one of those down to five wounds. I'll take out some wound damage. Okay, just what we wanted there. That's amazing. Perfect. Yeah, great. Thanks for coming, guys. We've got the big boy to shoot, though. Still got the big boy, but it just means I can't get that card this turn. Um, Why not? You not want to shoot the knight? Oh, it has to be a guard unit that does it, does no, it? No, it just has to be something inside my deployment. Uh, he's, the knight moved partially He's out. moved forward. Yeah, he's moved forward. So, let's have this shield captain going into these grots. Yeah, that unit of grots, cool. He is just out of rapid mm. fire range. I don't know why they don't get the beat. Oh, yeah, these don't are custodes. Yeah, 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 that would be nice. Fair. It and would be vicious on those bikes, though. Oh, it would be it'll, awful. It'll be nice. I'd like it. I'd like it. Um, so twos are rolling ones. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, threes. Yeah, that's right. Or is it toughness two? Aren't you? Not oh, so sorry. It's two. twos to wound. Yeah. Quite right. Uh, that is six wounds on the grots. As expected. From my custode. Uh, one grot gets saved, so five of them are dead. Uh, and five. And the corner there. There we are. Okay, and we'll do the same on the other side. Uh, that's just one grot left on his own, isn't it? I think. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll go for this squad here then. Cool, yeah, thinning out the protection for the... Yeah. Uh, that's the plan. Uh, oh, a couple of ones this time. But managed to convert them. And looking for twos. Uh, oh, wow, that's only four this time. Mm -hmm. Four six ups. Leave them in range of the war boss. This squad here was it? Yeah. Oh, I'm out of range of the war boss anyway, sadly. Four dead, yeah. Four coming off. And this guy here, I think he's out of everything. So he's not going to shoot. Cool. Which leaves us with the big fella. Uh -huh. So. 
So I think what we're going to do is okay. So the uh, it's time for the night to fire. Um, he's going to put his Stormsphere rocket pod into this squad of grots here. The Stubbers are going to go into this small squad of grots here. Mm -hmm. The Relic Gatling will go into the back squad of grots here. And the Battle Cannon will go into this unwounded okay. mech gun here. Cool. So, let's start off with the... Uh, oh sorry, it's the Ironstorm rocket pod, isn't it? So we'll start off with that into these grots. D6 number of shots. Oh, Big nice. 6, that's what we want. That might finish them off. 3, so no rerolls. And then 2, just to flat out kill them. Yeah. And there we go, that's 4 dead. That's 1 left. So he's definitely gone anyway. <laughs> even if he uses the war boss to try and pass, he does a minimum of one mortal wound to the unit. Okay, so then six heavy stubber shots were going mm -hmm. into this smaller squad, weren't yeah. they? So threes, all hit, and uh, it will be threes, won't mm -hmm. it? Strength three. Yeah. So that's five. Five. Have they got cover on the barricade or not? I'd say so. Two, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, so five ups on those grots then. And two pass and three fail, so three dead from that unit. One, two, three, and there we go. Okay, and then the relic gatling into the big grot squad just in front of the mech guns. Mm -hmm. So looking for three, six, two hits. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's not a squad of grots. Oh. I thought you meant into the mech guns. Those are the grot gunners, so they're the wound markers, oh. essentially. Do you want to redeclare the gatling? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant you were shooting it into a gun when you declared it. All into one gun. Um, Probably not, but then. Yeah, if it turns out it's Well, you guys Sorry. Yeah, right, don't worry. edit it, can't we? I'm in range of that cross squad, aren't I? Yep. So I'll do that. Yeah. Blob a 10 there, yeah. yeah. Cool. So, shall I start again, or should we just, nah, just keep count hit rolls? Yeah, that's fine. Those hit rolls. Okay, so a fair amount of misses there, but I have got three sixes. So, nice. it actually works out as only one miss. Um, so, two to kill. Mm -hmm. That should be the squad wipe there. Uh, Looks like it is. Yeah, easy. That's nine. Yeah. Nine. Nine. Oh. Three, six, nine. Oh, no, eleven. Eleven. Ten. Sorry. eleven. <laughs> Cat counts. <laughs> one ten down there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should smash me on kill points this round for sure. I hope so. All those grot squads you've wiped. <laughs> um, and I think that's it in terms of shooting. Mm -hmm. So now we're on to the all important charge phase. Nice. So I'll start off over here. This guy cannot reroll charges. So he's going to declare into boys here. Mm -hmm. so let's see how far he can go. I think he probably needs about a six or a seven, doesn't he? He gets six. Ooh. And I don't oh, think no. that's enough. I'd need no. a seven. So I am going to spend a command point to reroll the two. So this is the reroll. He gets in. Do I get the command point back? Don't. So that puts me down to five. Oh dear. Going through these. They're dwindling. Very right, I'll fire some overwatch to those boys. Uh, they're already locked. Oh, sorry, they are, of course. Yeah, they're <laughs> the Sentinel, yeah. Okay, and then this guy over on the far side into the squad. Yep, of that squad of Stone Boys. Stone Boys, that's it. Mm -hmm. He does get to reroll naturally, so let's see. And he gets a seven, which will easily be enough, so let's just push him forwards there so that the Sentinel's closer to shooting. That's what we want. Um, I will begin by activating. I'll activate this squad over here. Mm -hmm. So we okay, so it's five attacks hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. Oh, there's a couple of ones there, and I don't no, manage to no. convert them. Oh dear. Uh, so I will be wounding you on three three rolls. Oh, oh my come God. on, shield captain. English. Pull your finger out. So that's two. <laughs> He's killed two orcs. The two at the back dropped dead out of fright. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Are you going to interrupt at this point? No, I'm not too bothered about me storm boys. They've scored me a victory point. They can die now. Okay, so time for that shield captain to do the same thing. Hopefully not whiffing. Uh, <laughs> here we go. All nope, this all hit. And three's re-rolling all. God. Here we go. <laughs> You're okay there, so you leave two alive. Okay. 
Um, so then I choose the first activation mm -hmm. and I will activate that sentinel over, over there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh, can think another bar of that unit. Misses. Misses. So turn. I'll activate over here then. Uh, so let's pile some guys in. We can move out, can we? So now they're below 20, they will only get two attacks each. That's 16 attacks on the Sentinel. Hawks aren't cheating anymore. No. <laughs> Here we go, three's to hit it and five's to wound. Is three saves on that sentinel this time. So three, four up. Just need to pass one to keep it alive. I pass one to keep it alive on one wound. Cool. And then you hit me back with that sentinel. Uh, yep. Yeah. So let's see. Take that. Oh, he misses. <laughs> then these guys here, those storm boys, will go into the sentinel. So just five attacks now. No, sorry, it's not. It's seven altogether because they got choppers. Oh, that's a lot of misses. Fives. That's three saves. So you wow. got three, four ups. I could get it. Uh, left on one wound again as well. Nice. Okay, so we do just need to do my. Sorry, you can pile him in as well, yeah. I think I'll do that. I've got some morale to do. Does that get me within three of the objective? It should do, shouldn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then my morales. Yeah. One grot runs, finishes a unit. That one runs and finishes a unit. They've lost four. Leadership four. So one, please. One. Yep, nice. Um, and that is it for the squad. Oh, this squad here. They'll take D3 hits from the war boss to keep them in line, so they lose two. two. And I think that's Scotches. it. The Where? The, these guys. Oh, those. They've lost three, so their leadership uh, seven with their knob. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, so, so they lose one, one more. Please, just leaving the knob. <coughs> yep, and uh, I think that's it. They'll be okay. They've lost two, so their leadership 18, effectively. Okay, yep, so good. at the end of my turn, I've lost count of how many kill points I've got, but we'll... You've wiped uh, four full units of grots. Okay. I didn't get death from afar. Mm -hmm. I can't get hold of the line first turn. Uh, I have got supremacy because I've got that over there with mm -hmm. two yeah, models. Three, yeah. uh, but because we're playing a tournament pack, that counts as two, not D3. Mm -hmm. And I haven't got assassinate. Now, I think I'm going to discard assassinate. Mm -hmm. And I've got supremacy. So I can draw four because I've scored three and discarded one last turn. So I've drawn defend one, give him some DACA, destroy someone in the shooting phase, secure three, and secure objective one. Which I think you've got both of them, haven't you? One and three? Well, uh, is one and three under my models? That would be yeah. nice if they are. Yeah, it yeah. is. Um, I'm not going to stop you getting any of those. Right. We'll be back after okay. Sam's movement. Yep, I'll do orc turn two movement. Too. So, uh, I've pushed up this squad here in the ruins a little bit, that's to try and dink the last wound off this sentinel. Uh, likewise, these guys have retreated, this guy's hoping to flame of the last wound off that sentinel. Uh, I've left stuff around to hold the objectives I need to be holding, uh, and then the remaining grots have just kind of squozen in around the looters to try and protect them, hopefully for one more turn, and we'll see if we get some good shooting out of them this turn. So, casting, uh, this guy's going to put Warpath on this big blob of 30 boys first. He won't be getting a plus one to his cast because he's out there on his own, so he needs to make a seven. He fails to make the seven, so they won't have Warpath on them. Uh, and this guy will now try and cast the jump, and he's got 30 orcs within uh, 10 inches of him, so that means he gets a plus three to his cast. And that will fail to go off, that's why I saved my command point, people. There it is, the jump goes off, so this big blob of 30 here will move. That result took me over a ten, so he takes d3. He takes three Ooh. mortal wounds, as he does in every bloody game. He puts himself on one wound. Okay, so there's his one wound, and then those guys will relocate, and then we'll be back to shoot. Okay, so we'll start with this big squad in the middle. They'll put pistols into black squad, the ones that have range. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. We've got thirteen pistols all together. I'm not going to go to ground for that. No. 
Right on CK. Right. 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 10, 11, for so, die. Yeah, you may well do. So, here we go. Looking for 5 and 6 is to hit with orcs, and 6 is trigger an extra shot. It's 2 hits, 3 is to wound guards, 2 saves on the guard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 2 dead in black squad. Okay, over here the big orc's going to plop his flamethrower into this here. So um, he's got a combi flamer and then he gets an additional 2d6 hits from the uh, gob shop on the bus. <laughs> My favourite weapon. So he gets 12 altogether. And that will wound on uh, T5 as well. Yeah. So 4's to wound. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and minus 1 please. Eight, nine. Are we saying cover there? I don't think he's 50% obscured even if he yeah, was, was he? So, yeah, it's alright. Looking for fives. What surprise, he's dead. Nope. Yeah, that Does he down. blow up? He doesn't. Nope. Okay, over this side here. Uh... Oops. We're going to put one of these through the door into that sentinel. So D3 shots with the first mech gun. Three shots. Hopefully that's going to finish it off. One extra shot for the six. So we've got three hits in total. Toughness five, so fours up will wound automatically. I don't need the extra dice. So a two will require a three to go with it. So that's three wounds at minus four, so no saves. No saves. Three D6 damage. Can we get the last wound off this sentinel? It's only got one wound. Just. <laughs> Does it blow up? Yes. It does. So Come there's on. going to be a command point. So this is the reroll. And do I get the command point back on a five? I don't. No, no. So that's me down to four. And here's your sentinel. Thanks. Okay, so now I've cleared out the sentinels. That means it's open season on hunting jet bikes. <laughs> so uh, we're going to start with uh, four mech guns into that pulse sod. So let's fire four of the mech guns into... Captain one. So like, nice amount of hits there. Three for that one, three for that one, and two for the others. Actually, it's bang on the average, and it's not nice, is it? That's the average. Uh, Force to hit, six is explode. So I'll be firing an extra shot. And I've got four hits. Their toughness, uh, five, buddy. Six, aren't they on bikes? Six on bikes, yeah. Okay, so uh, fives and sixes will wound automatically. So those ones all wound, and I need to roll another dice with that three. three two. Yep, that wounds too. So that is uh, four saves on his invul. Yep, so it'll be a three up invul. D6 damage here. Uh, so I failed one. I've yeah, already used the command point. Already. You got one free reroll. Is it D6 damage? D6 say. damage there, yeah. Yeah, so I think I'll use my grand strategist reroll on that. So mm -hmm. this is the reroll, and I no. still fail it. D6 yeah. damage to that guy. Here we go. Ready. He takes four, I'll stick with four, I think. Right, another two mech guns into him then. <laughs> Let's keep pressing that advantage, that's three shots each. Looking for fours, sixes explode, gives me one extra shot. Hopefully I can get two hits there, so two hits. Looking for fives to auto wound. Nope, so the two requires a four to go with it to reach six, fails to wound, and that requires a two. So that one does wound, so we've got one more in bull on him. Ooh, we need to pass this. And I oh, don't. D6 oh. on this guy. One wound. One. Oh. Is that worth a shooting phase command point? No, because I haven't rolled the number of shots of my looters. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll leave it as one wound. <laughs> and the last two mech guns are for him as well. <laughs> Here we go. That's four shots this time. Four's to hit. And I get two extra shots from my... Uh, Daka rule this time. Just the so two. just the two hits, yeah. Fives and sixes to wound without the extra dice. And one. this one will require a five. Yep, so that's two more three ups. Can I do I it? I mean, three ups can be made all day long. If I fail these both, he's auto dead. And two I pass him. He's both. okay. Okay, might be picking on him with some looters then. Hmm. Okie dokie, so uh, let's have a go at firing the looters. <laughs> Number of shots. Ooh. Is this one my favourite dice? Oh, or I'm going to pick one of the ones yeah. that's lying on a six already. <laughs> oh, do I stick on two? I think I will stick on two. I don't want to get greedy. So they'll get two shots each, there's 24 of them, so 48 shots. 
So, uh, we'll spend two command points to let them uh, trigger extra hits on fives and sixes. So that will make them um, uh, take me down to ten command points. Uh, so, I'm going to start off by firing 12 into this guy, so 24 shots into him. And we'll put 24 shots into him. And then the next lot, hopefully, will be bullying guys, but not, uh, not those guys anymore. So let's start with 24 shots into this guy. When we played this game the last time, it was the shield captains that, that cost me the game. <laughs> yeah. So if I can get rid of two of them this turn, that's going to have been quite a good start because they were clearing out units of boys towards the end of the game. And I couldn't do a thing about it. So we're looking for fives and sixes to hit. I can reroll ones because they belong to the bad moons. I mean, that was a hit until I knocked it. We'll call it not though because the footage will tell. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd rather err on the side of caution. One cock That nice. wasn't a hit. Oh, yeah. Do we demand a replay? <laughs> you've been, you've been watching models of water bottle tanks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not a third time. We're not, we're not playing this game a third time. <laughs> <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 extra shots. Wow. So all of them again? Yep, yeah. So that's basically the same number that I took out. Rerolling ones because I'm still bad moons. Once a bad moon, always a bad moon. That was going to be a six, that one. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, I think you might have done enough. Yeah. Mm. Oops. There he is, he's knocking him. Yeah. <laughs> we are, uh, pushing you. Yeah, I'm pushing your guard out. Yeah, right. you're, right. you're not Sam. You're not Sam at all. And then we have, oh, they've all wounded Corbin. There's not a single fail, it's threes to wound. So that's, uh, so that's 10. 10, 15, that's 17 wounds on him. Wow. Two damage each, so you've got to pass all of these. And what uh, rend is it? Minus one. It's up to you whether this is as armor or as involved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it matters. I think this is a dead shield captain, whichever way we look at it. But you never know. He's dead. Happen. He is gone. Well and Ooh. yeah, well yeah. and truly. Thank you very much. <laughs> you enjoyed that <laughs> far too much. I hate shield captains. I hate them. It says the guy with the room full. With nine jet yeah. bikes. Yeah. <laughs> now, I prefer running them as the regular jet bikes because I like the moral high ground. <laughs> um, right, 24 shots at the other guy. Can we repeat the act? Oh, that's a nice number of sixes. Yeah. That one definitely was a six yeah. that time, I'm not doubting that one. No, uh, one one to reroll, so that's another hit. So there's another there. five we'll there as well. Another five there. Uh, okay, so that gives me eleven hits this time, so that will be one. Oh, I tried to work out the mash, you know then of what to take out. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't happening. I'm rerolling my one still. Just a couple of extra hits there. Right, I'm I'm old. <laughs> Your entire roll of twos and ones here. Just, that was just there we go, far looking for threes to wound them. Oh, there's a lot of twos in there actually. There's, there's, that's more like twos this there. is what we get. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. You've got nine saves to make on that shield captain there. So he should take three wounds statistically. Mm. So six damage. And he fails two. two. So he takes four damage. I can live with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right, 2 CP again, drops me to 8, let's fire the looters again. <laughs> Let me guess, 24 are going to shoot into the shield captain, are No, they? I'm not going to waste that many on him. Oh, uh, what do I need to kill him? Oh, what do I need to kill him? Um, I'm going to fire... 10... This is a hard choice. I'm going to fire 10 looters into him because I don't have the maths brain to work out what I actually need to put into to kill him with 10 sounds like enough. So there'll be 10 looters firing into him, there's 14 remaining, and they are gonna go, uh, they're gonna go into this first yellow squad here. I've learned my lesson about splitting too much on guard, because you end up just not killing him. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll put four there, Ooh. and I'll put 10 there. So four are gonna shoot the last three of black squad, 10 into yellow squad, 10 into this poor sod. So let's put 20 shots into him first. <laughs> And hopefully we'll finish off that shield captain. And we have the 20 shots, looking for fives and sixes. At first glance it doesn't look great, but then I haven't re-rolled the ones yet. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight hits by my count. So eight extra shots. Oops. There he is again. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> Nice. That's a good trick as well, like eh? try and throw one of your dice into your hit pile as you, as you roll it. It's another classic. So a few people do that. It's how I call it, it's all on camera. Yeah. And uh, three is to wound. So that's that's, uh, that's eight saves on him there. Yeah. I mean statistically he's dead. He yeah. is. But never tell a shield captain the odds. Are any of them victors? None of know. them. Oh, oh that was okay. One. He's on one wound. Oh, oh, and I have no way of re-rolling it either. <sighs> well, he's going to be a pain. In <laughs> Hopefully, he will die to the Overwatch of whatever he charges next. Mm. Um, right. So, uh, so then we got uh, five of them fired. Uh, four of them, I said, in that firing into Black Squad. So let's yeah. fire those eight shots. Two extra shots. No ones? No, no yeah. ones to re-roll. Oh. And two's to wound. No, two ones to re-roll there, mate. Oh, thank you. No, it didn't hit. So you just got two wounds on those guys at minus one. So two six ups. Mm -hmm. uh, pass and a fail. Okay. I was hoping to get that squad. Let's see what we do to yellow now with 20 dice. <coughs> this is where you roll all the ones, isn't it, that I wanted you to roll on the ship. Yeah, deck. yeah. <laughs> when it doesn't matter so much, the guard in the backfield. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's the one. It's okay. I can use the ones up now while I get re-rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That will give me seven extra shots. Oh, nice. Four more. Not bad. So Is so enough to wipe the squad. It could do. So I've got twos to wound, and then you get six up saves against it. So that is... Uh, five, that's nine saves on those guys there. Come on. Uh, that's eight, Dad. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, right, that's it for my shooting. So now I'm going to charge my orcs. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to declare on Blue Squad. I'm also going to declare on Mr. Fisty Pants there, Yarrick, this dude with a snazzy Strachan. coat on, Strachan, and uh, a priest. A priest. So you're declaring on pretty much everything then? Yeah, all the characters I can reach and the blue squad there, I'll declare on all those guys. Oh, okay. I'm nine inches away, but I'll get a plus one because I'm evil sons. So you get to pack a move with last guns first. I will do. So it will actually be 20 shots and I've got 20 dice exactly. Mm -hmm. That's handy. Yeah. Was that 19 for the unit and one for his pistol, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yarrick's three rolls for the campus. Uh, I'll best have a look. I think I brought a guard code up. I've got one somewhere, but I'll, I'll just Real check. Let's check the book. <laughs> uh, so here we have 20 flashlight shots going into the orcs. Sixes re rolling all. Uh, so one six. So fast. <laughs> yeah, re rolling all is pretty good for a Yeah. It's almost like I'm Gilliman again. Uh, that's a shame. Not bad. And then um, fives to wound them. Yeah. Uh, that's one, one wound. wound. One six up on an orc. Nope. The power. Come on. The power of Yarrick. Yeah. The power of flashlight. Right, so we need to make an eight inches on the charge. And then we can reroll one or both for the here we go special rule. There's a one, that's not a good start. And a four. So, do I reroll that for a 50 50 chance of making it? Or do I reroll both? So for a 50 50 chance. Are they both 50 50? Uh, no. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> no, it'll be slightly less, won't it? I'm better to go for the 50 50 chance. Yeah, I think it's about 40%. Right. Okay, let's see a nice big roll here. Let's not leave them there to die. They're in just. Oh. So that becomes a 9. Oh. The evil sun's trait, and they Good can move days. 9 inches. <laughs> Time for some of the old choppy choppy. You're going that way, mate. You've got a power claw. You're snipping Yarrick in half of the waist. <laughs> Okay, so at the start of the fight phase, I get to use a stratagem in the Vigilus book called No Quarter Given. Mm -hmm. So for two command points, I'm nominating this blue infantry squad here to yep. fight as they die, which is quite nasty because really if awesome. Sam doesn't kill them, I can interrupt, fight with them, and then fight as they die again. Mm -hmm. Nice. So do I get the command points back first of all? I get one back. So I'm down to three. 
Okay, we've just left that building off for now so we can see what's going on. Uh, it'll pop back in. The wall is just kind of between those two guys there. And so, uh, on that note as well, you're going to pile in with some guys? I would have heroically intervened with this fellow. Yep, and he comes. Um, okay, so my um, activations, the only orc unit that charge will go first. Um, everyone who can is going to go for Strachan. Everyone else is a blue squad. So into Strachan is going to be the knob. And one, two, three. Four, five boys. So the five boys get three attacks each, plus one for being over 20. Didn't get war pants on them, sadly. There'll be four for the war boss's claw. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So 20 regular attacks on Strachan first. Oh, oh, here he goes. Excuse me. <laughs> fingers. These dice are too big to play orcs with. These, these are my Imperial Knight dice, really, but I like them. That's one cocked. Uh, let's take out the misses. Not bad. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, yeah, the uh, Strachan's T4, isn't it? He's he is. made of metal. It's forced to wound him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven wounds on Strachan so far. Okay, so what's the, uh, the rend on those? I've got mm, they're just choppers, so you get his three up, I think. I think he's got a three up. He does, doesn't he? It's just. No rend, no. No, no rend, they're just the yeah, choppers. It's just his three up. And then we've got the power How many? Uh, you got um, seven. 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 Yeah. So seven three ups coming your way. Uh, fails three. So not bad. Down to one wound. Down to one wound. And uh, we'll two wounds. Sorry, two wounds. Now we'll try and finish him off with the knob's power claw. So four to hit on that. There's a minus one. Gets one hit. I'll chuck a command point at that. Nope. So I'm down to nine. Sorry, down to seven. Wounding him on a two. Yep, so one wound with a power claw, minus three. So we've got five that up in will be five up in ball. Mm -hmm. This could be the roll to save his life. Fails nope. it. How many, how many Does damage? Does three. So hang on, I think I chuck a command point at mm -hmm. that to try and keep him alive. So this, I don't get any back. Oh, she needed for the extra attack, so yeah. they're about to come my way. So this yeah. is the re-roll. Oh, and I fail it, and I'm down to two command points, so please roll the one. It kills three. three wounds, he's dead. dead. Now, I, I, oh no, because it's out of the air. Yeah, so you wouldn't get the extra attacks. There's an argument that you may get the extra attacks as they die, because um, yeah, the attacks happen simultaneously. Yeah, so do. you'll get the extra attacks yeah. as they die, but not when you attack back. And going into these boys, am I within an inch of an inch? Should be with the third round. Well, actually, it's uh, worded as at the start of the fight phase. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, so you're fine then, so you're there at the start, your final phase. She's got 14 altogether, the third rank are out. There is a way to shuffle and get the third rank to five, I didn't bother. So we've got 14 times by four, which is eight at eight is 16. Great maths. Plus 40 is 56. I just don't. Right, three stick the guard and uh, three to wing them as well. You definitely see the cheese. I tend to get, I tend to copy the cheese. <laughs> I'm not good at seeing it myself. It's so funny, our, our friend Tom's on holiday at the moment, and while he was on the plane, he read the Orc Codex, and then uh, like after he landed, he was just texting me. He's got, he, he works in law, so he was Corbin, and he's got the mind to just spot <laughs> everything in a codex. And as soon as he landed, he was like, do you know, Gaskell gives the Grox extra attacks as well. <laughs> like all these little things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fifteen saves on there, that's half of them. So let's see if it's even worth your rolling the rest. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. So looking for five ups. And I pass two. That's quite a lot of them there. Yeah. So uh, that is three, six, seven, eight dead. Mm -hmm. So do you believe I'll kill two with another twenty-eight dice? I believe you will. All right. Let's so on, on that note, I'm, I'm just going to attack you back yeah, and then cool. remove the squad. <laughs> so we have thirty-seven attacks coming your way. Oh, ouch! So here we have the first twenty and it's mm -hmm. fours, re-rolling all. Yeah. <laughs> Best thing is, it's actually Sam's model. So. Yeah, that's my, my Yarrick. <laughs> Mine isn't even painted. Hoisted by my own card. <laughs> Traitor! Okay. So we only got me four extra hits, but mm -hmm. you know. Oh, I'm knocking him now. Oh. And we're looking for fours, no rerolls though this time. 
So we have three, six, seven so far. Three failed to win. Nice. That's still good. Uh, five, ten, plus seven, so seventeen. Hey, there's me ten. Oh, this could uh, decimate the sort unit here. Let's hope their t-shirts are as premium quality as, as our uh, dangerous terrain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so soon to Estonia. So that's fifteen dead. So that takes that unit down to fourteen orcs. Okay, so there's five coming off. There's five coming off. Okay. And then I remove this squad as well. I do. And then you swing back. Will you get to consolidate first? I will, yeah. I'm going to do my consolidations now. Uh, so I'll stay an inch from that. Okay. Stay an inch from that. Yep. I don't want any more guard getting involved in this fight. Mm. Uh, so yeah, you hit back with your three characters now. And the shield captain. Yeah. Well, two characters in the show. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. So we'll start off then. May as well start with Yarrick. Mm -hmm. um, so he gets four attacks in total because of the priest. Right. He's hitting with his power claw. Uh, so he's hitting you on threes, rerolling ones and twos. Mm -hmm. uh, no, he doesn't reroll the twos. So no, he's he doesn't. A... One, yeah. oh, only one hit. Uh, he's wounding you on twos. It's only strength six. Oh yes, he's doubling strength six. Uh, so, so, so that's an orc dead. That's one orc dead. Well yeah. done, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! Uh, we'll get the minister on three steps. I think he gets mm -hmm. four attacks. Uh, yeah, four attacks, including yep. his own bonus. So yeah. he's hitting you on fours, wounding you on fives. Nice. Three rolling. Oh, oops. All. Uh, so two wounds there. Mm -hmm. There's two more dead orcs. And last but not least, does the shield captain get the rerolls when he heroically intervenes? I think he just says charge in the custodes code. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he only gets his five attacks. Yeah. Can't get up enough speed when he just jumps out. <laughs> <laughs> so two is rerolling ones. There we go. All, All hit. And and then, uh, three three. Uh, so that is three dead orcs. Three more dead. Ooh. So right, leadership now, is definitely going to be a problem for them. Yes. Now at the end of my fight phase, I'm going to pay three to fight again with them because I think it's worth it to kill those characters. There's so few orcs left; it might not look worth it, but I think it is. So that's taking me from seven down to four. So I've got like maybe maybe not even one turn left in the looters now. Okay, so we've got uh, everyone basically is arranged so that we can pile their attacks into Yarrick. Um, the whole point of this was to kind of lose that unit of orcs and just try and rip the heart out of the army, really. Not to be able to get the priest, who is one of the metal calls, but um, uh, I can get all the rest of them. So let's give it a go with the power claw first. Down to three attacks with it now because there's less than 20 boys. Two hits with the power claw. T4. Two wounds. Yep, two oh, wounds. There we go. Two four of uh, Yeah, four yeah, of them. Four of Yarrick. Pass and a fail. Is it worth a command point? Have you done it already? I think you used it. Oh, I did, yes. You did, so you did it to try and save Strachan. So D3 on Yarrick. He takes one wound. And then I've got all the attacks from the Orc boys into him. So he got four wounds? Yes. Yeah. So he's down to three. And here's the boys. Here come the boys. If I don't get him now, he's going to be safe behind the lines. He's T4, is he, as well? He's yeah. all those veteran. Oh, that's a lot of That's very good. So that's five, ten saves on the arrow right there. Ow. Four ups. So this is four ups. Three, six, nine, four, ten. Ten four ups, and then he's got his three up for his last wound, hasn't he? So let's see. Okay, so I fail two, four, which is enough to kill him. So. For his last wound, 
Each time you lose the last room, you're going to lose the last room twice. Yeah, so I need to roll a three on these two dice to keep him alive. That's right. Oh, he's alive on one wound. final wound. Yeah, I've got no more attacks there. So there we go, that's the end of my turn. And just to remember, this is kind of there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I can consolidate, we can place it back on if you want. Oh, it's basically you just roll match. We'll do that off camera. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. At the end of that turn, I have scored secure three with this weird boy. I've begun, I've secured one and begun defend one. And I've scored, given some DACA for killing stuff in my shooting phase. So that's three scored and defend objective one is in progress, which pushes me up to seven overall. And you're also two. on five kill points. So yeah. let's see if you get the bonus for that mm -hmm. in my turn. At the end of this round. Okay, so I still have hold the line, which is an auto uh, at this point. Uh, I've got death from afar still. I get secure five, which is on the other side in the middle of the board, mm -hmm. and defend objective one, which is in Sam's deployment. Down there. Mm. Okay, and I'm going to uh, pull out those orcs because they're going to flee from morale. So that's what it's got. It's only my own yard. Uh, oh yeah, that squad of mine lost three. Their leadership eight. They can fail it on yeah. the double six. Mm -hmm. So let's see. And they're fine. So we'll be back at the end of my movement phase. turn to movement. Uh, this shield captain has just fallen back behind the knight a little bit, who's come stomping forwards with his eyes on this blob here. Uh, the guard back moved forward, this three-man unit has just moved to within three of this pillar to stop uh, Sam getting any points for that. The infantry squad that were in there have just moved out a little bit here, they're potentially going to come forward. Um, and these guys have all just reformed the bubbles around the characters and uh, the shield captain just to protect him a bit. So that if Sam does want to target the shield captain, I think he's going to have to kill four infantry squads, if I've worked it out right. So that should do the business and protect him. Um, so there's no psychic to go on to, so it's just orders. Uh, this grey squad here is going to get first rank, second rank. So is the uh, brown squad. Um, and I think the yellow squad might be in range as well. No, they're out, so there's no point getting it on them. And the mortars again are both going to get reroll ones to win. So we'll start off with this grey squad here going into these boys. So they will be getting 18 shots because the pistol will be out of range. So here we are on fours. You got what squad? No, they're out. Oh, yeah, they're squatting. So they are within six of Yarrick, so they're rerolling. Or Yarrick, who should not still be alive. Yeah. <laughs> Damn you, Yarrick! He just he, got pummeled to be the main issue of his life. He is all. the hero of Hades Hive, so you yeah. know, let him have his moment. Yeah. So, here we go. Oh, not bad so far. Let's see what the rerolls can do. So they're all hits. Converted a few. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not bad. It will be five to wound though, so this is probably where it will fall down, we'll see. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, so far. Expect four saves on the orcs, that's four dead orcs. Four dead orcs. One, two, three. Then we will move on to brown squad, we should have range on those. Grots there. Grots, shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's going to be the same. Oh, it won't be 18 shots, will it? It will be about eight, I think. Yeah. Eight. Five. Seven. Eight. Mm -hmm. uh, 
They are out of six of Yarrick, so no re-rolls. Actually, are they within six? Yeah, they're within six of Black Panther, so I'll be re-rolling ones. For another one. Great. And fives. Uh, gets me two. Oh no, it's not on Gross, is it? It's three to Rouge, yeah. Uh, so it'll be three. Three. Three six ups on the Grots. One passes. Two die. They'll be terrified. So hopefully <laughs> there's some more leaderships coming, uh, coming up their way. Yeah. Um, okay, I have to move on to the first mortal squad next. So they'll be going into the looters. Oh dear. Yeah. 3d6 shots. Gets me 13. Yeah. Okay. Two thirds nice. Right, five. Uh, so it's four three on ones. Maybe I should have Yarrick on. Yeah, that would make a big difference. Four three on ones for the order. Uh, so that gets me. Four. Okay, so I'm spending the CP down to three, so I can no longer operate Matt's looter. So let's try and pass those wounds over. They're all passing over to Grants. Four more gone. Okay. Then the next squad will be doing the same. 3d6 shots. And this time it's only seven. So same again, four three rolling ones and four three rolling ones. So that's a one. Mm. That's not great. So three this time. Passing them over. Nope, one goes through to a looter on a six up. Nope, one dead looter and two dead grots. Mm. You can go. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Okay, so let's see then if I can finally get death from afar. That basilisk is going into the same. Yeah. So, number of shots. Gets me six, no need to re-roll that. So it'll be fours, re-rolling ones. Re-rolls for Harker. Nice, everything's oh. Nice, winning on threes. Yeah, no re-rolls out, so let's see. Uh, ooh, only three. All right, let's take three saves on that mech's uh, fancy shield. He passes one, fails two. So two, D3. D3. Could do it. I can, can the just point. do it. And I do it on a five. five. Yeah, so that's they five don't blow up, do they? No, they don't explode though, Damn. which is a nice little addition actually. Because <laughs> you often pack them in pretty tight. <clears throat> you often don't have much choice with the amount of models you've got. No, no, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that that's shot, we'll move on to this shield captain over here. I think he's got range on the grots only. Oh, yeah, just about. Yeah. So he'll put his six shots into there, two or three all in ones. Uh, there's a one. All hit. Mm -hmm. And twos. So that's four. There's a five in the squad yet? Or is that a big squad? Oh, was, this squad's one ten here. Oh, right. Got, okay. yeah. Oh, sorry, no, it's a five. Five, yeah. five and five. Three deaths from that squad. Cool. And this shield captain will. Oh, I wonder if you've taken him out of rapid fire range. No, he's still in. Mm -hmm. so three, six, <coughs> nine, twelve. Oh, one miss. You sounded really disappointed then. <laughs> Max grounds for retirement. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Take him out back and shoot him. <laughs> oh, oh, look at oh, the state of that four oh, oh, wounds. Yeah, it's time for him to join the Emperor's eyes, I think. He's only on one wound, isn't he? He's, uh, Pop a big cloak on and disappear somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I love that bit of that law. I know, yeah. But I don't understand how they remain undercover, how you can have like a ten foot tall man. <laughs> Undercover, yeah. I, I reckon they stay indoors and they run like a network of spies. Yeah. He, just, he stays inside. It, it yeah. kind of makes sense in Judge Dredd because, you know, they're humans when they yeah, take the long yeah. walk. Yeah. Um, yeah. Three metre tall, superhuman. Yeah, human. he's not going to blend in anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Unless he goes to live on planet Ogre. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got a fair bit going on here. So, how am I going to do it? Those looters need to go. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to do Stubbers and Flamer here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything else into the looters. Cool. I think. 
but that's how I have to do it. Alright, sounds good. So, number of shots from the flamer. Two! Although it'll be wounding you on threes, won't it? So, that's two. Two auto dead. Two auto dead. And then, we have six stubber shots, looking for threes. Oh, that custom rubbed off on him. Uh, and it's strength four, isn't it? So, one. Just the one. Six up. Okay. Um, Right. Is it fat? No. Which one's going to fire first? Yeah. Those guys. Yeah. I think I'll do the missile pod first. Yeah. So D6. One. Hits on a three. Uh, auto kills on a three, isn't it? There we go. That's <coughs> a grot. It does. does. So that's a grot dead. Yay. Rapid fire battle cannon next. They're just one wound each. I'm oh, sorry, no, I can't take it from that unit because it has to be from. Um, oh. It has to be these units now, so those two can only help from here because of the distance. So, so these ones, so it's one from that squad. Yeah. Okay. So the rapid fire battle cannon could potentially wipe those grots. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Eight yep. shots. Looking for threes. Just one miss, not bad. Um, and it'll be two Sawunga on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, four ones. Just three. <laughs> so, can you pass them over? No, one looter dies and two Grots die. Okay. So, I was hoping all the Grots would be gone by this yeah. point. Six. You're probably going to get a few looters with the. Uh, 14. Well, you can pass a maximum of four over at this point. Oh, yeah, yeah. It can only stay four more. So, let's see what happens. Looking for threes. Oh, wow. And that's all right, mate. That's what you'd expect. Three sixes. Two sixes. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, I didn't see that one behind that. So, not bad. Three to ruin the looter. Yeah. And four fails, so it's three, six, nine. Okay, so the first four are going on the grots, they all do. And then the remaining five just kills uh, Lutri. Five Lutri's this. Yep. You've got through the shield at last. Yeah, I think next turn I need to kill the knight. There's 18 looters left there. Sorry, no, there's not 17 looters left. Okay, and in terms of charges, you can do it on five. You need to seven. Alright. I think it's probably worth it because you're going to shoot him next turn anyway. Yeah, so yeah. there's no point not having him forward. Yeah, that's a lot of um, turn. Do you want to try and pistol whip me, I guess? Uh, uh, I've only got line of sight from like two guys here, but they'll, they'll give it a go. Can they not? I'm sure they can see over it, mate. It's like 20 feet. It is quite tall. <laughs> All right, let's roll yeah, to the next turn. You can always see Titanic. So that's two uh, hits, three hits total. Let's see if we can take that first wound off. Yeah, no, we don't. No. It's T8, mate. Yeah. So we're looking for a seven. Well, no, and it's a nine. Now I'm not going to go too far because I don't want to let his character intervene. Mm -hmm. Just going to go to there. So it is. You, you could go close on that's three inches. Yeah, but then I don't want to come over here mm -hmm. and you know. Um, so I get. How many is it if you use, if you tap dances? Is it twelve attacks? Uh, Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, four times. Eight. Squelch. Ten. Wow. Yep. So, Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance, here we go. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it should be twos to kill. Twos to kill outright. Uh, not bad. Four. There we go. Any consolidation? Uh, no, I think I'll stay there. I would. I was yeah. hoping you were going to come every inch closer to him to get the happy <laughs> um, Okay, so uh, my orcs can't attack back. 
Dave will take D3 mortals from the war boss to be kept in line, so it's just the knob left. <laughs> Which does allow me to spend 3 CP and bring the whole squad back at full strength. Damn it! I was hoping that would just be mm, enough. you just clear that squad out. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, at the end of my turn... Oh, and they flee. Okay, so at the end of my turn, I don't have secure objective 5 or defend 1. I'm going to discard defend 1. I'll keep that for next turn. Did get death from afar, and I did get hold the line, cool. so that's two cards. Uh, we are equal on four pillars. Yep. And I think I've won on kill points, haven't I? Yeah, how many did I get? Um, you finished three squads of grots. Three squads of grots off. I think, and they were last term. So, yeah, three squads of grots. Is that it? So yeah. you're ahead by two, so you get the plus one. Yeah, so I get the plus one, and I've just scored two for defending one through my turn with the boys in the back here. So, so a lot to get through. Oh, sorry, I didn't put one on for. I'm on ten because I've got one for kill, kill mob. Yeah. So I'm up to ten. Yeah, so it's ten six, is it? It is. Yeah. And we'll be right back at the beginning of. Oh, do you want to turn three? Do you, do you want to draw your cards? Your cards first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm out of cards again. So let's go for four. We've got behind enemy lines. Doable. Here we go. Make three charges with orcs. Ooh. Enemy lines to charge. Defend three. That's fine, it's in my back zone. And defend five, which is centre of the table. Mm. I can give that a go, I suppose. Oh, please come for five. Please extend yourself. three for the orcs so I've moved this uh, storm boy back so he's come from here to here he also advanced the six inches uh, and he rolled two so he survived this his, uh, his jump so he's there to begin defending three uh, I've moved this unit of boys they've come out of the building towards the night they've advanced and they're within range of war bosses uh, the um, spellcasters have kind of moved up in support of the war boss who's hopefully going to do a takedown on the night we'll see if it comes off uh, looters, the 17 of them left, they're staying where they are because I'm out of command points uh, to do anything cool with them, so they're just shooting normally now. And why am I out of command points? Well, <laughs> because 20 fresh orc boys have just run back onto the board there, so that is from uh, Endless Green Tide. So, because there was one left in this squad here, uh, I could bring the whole squad back on at full strength. You can do it once per game for three command points, so it's a nice little uh, trick. I was in two minds about waiting and bringing back 30 chopper boys if they got taken down, but bringing them on there now is probably probably a good idea to try and get to that corner objective. So we'll get on and cast some spells. So in order for this incredible long shot to come off on the war boss, I need to get three spells off on him, basically. So we're going to try and cast Warpath on him, Fists of Gork, and then we're going to try and jump him near to the knight. So what that'll do is boost him basically up to seven attacks, hitting and wounding on twos with re-rolls against the knight and four damage apiece. So he can basically one punch to take a knight down if I can deliver him and if I can get all three spells off. So here we go, they go off on a seven. So I've made it so these two are within range to get a plus one to the cast and he's in range to get a plus two to his cast because there's 17 there and there's three there in 10 inches. So first we're going to do Warpath, which will give him one extra attack. Warpath goes off and he takes... Three. So he's down to one wound as well. Oh. <laughs> Every time they cast anything, this guy's going to do Fist of Gork, which goes off, and that's no. a plus one. So he's okay. So he's up to his seven attacks this turn. And then this guy now, this the jump the with a plus now, two. If you kill him through perils, spells go off. Now. Spells oh. go off. So I've got a hope to roll low ish this time, actually. Double so I'm getting six, a plus two. Six. Oh, Two, three, four, takes me up to six, which I believe fails, and I'm out of CP to redo it. So I can't deliver the war boss, sadly. Just needed one else, one other bit to come up. That's a real shame, because it's really cool when your war boss punches a knight in half. Um, yeah, I Not think for it's. Me. Uh, Not for me. Yeah, it is warp charge value seven. <laughs> and unfortunately, I'm well out of 12 inch charge range, so he's boosted there with seven attacks, he's ready to go, and he's got no one to play with. So we'll, see we'll, see if, it's fine. we'll see if we can do it again next turn, we'll see. Um, okay, so then on to the shooting phase. So we'll roll the number of shots for the looters first. So they are getting 
one shot one each. Shot. So they get 17 shots, and we're going to put them into. Uh, we'll put them under here into the grey squad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so, so far, the plan is not coming together <laughs> at all. <laughs> Good. So, only six is triggering extra shots this time. Three roll the ones. Just two extra shots. Neither of them hit. Yeah, see, so without those stratagems, they're no good. And two's to wound. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on great squad, please. At minus one. So six ups. Here we go, six ups. No. Ooh, so oh, so I only failed to four. Yeah. Nice. So I'm gonna be mm, a bit sneaky here, I think. And take those four. Yep. Because he's planning a charge. <laughs> okay, next up we're gonna put the flamer into this guy here. So we'll put his flamer and his shooter in, but we'll see if we need to shoot him. So he gets one flamer dice and two of them, which is firing teeth out of his, uh, out of his thunder bus. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe the luck is returning slightly. He's only got one wound left, that captain. He has, yeah. So this is the dice here. Wounded on five to AP minus one. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six saves at three up for that captain to make in order to live. Mm, could do, could do it. <laughs> Not the way I've been rolling with him. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Uh, yeah. And I can't three. even save him with a command point, so off he goes. He is dead. He's down. Uh, right. Um, let's shoot. How many CP have you got left? Three. How much does it cost to get your knife off? Three. Let's make you rotate the iron shields. <laughs> so we'll start off with two of those into the knife. So I'm going to rotate, rotate iron yeah. shields. Do I get it back on a five? No, oh, I don't. So I can Number of shots. Oh, lovely. Ooh, nice. Six. So we're looking for fours to hit the knight, and six is trigger extra shots. We get three extra shots and a lot of hits. Wow, just from two well guns. Done. That's probably the best roll I've ever had on these guys. So, it, the knight is toughness eight, so yes. we'll roll all the dice first, then we'll do the dice that go along with it. So, the ones can never succeed. The two twos require a six to go with them to make eight, so one of those does wound, so one dice in the wound pile. The fives require threes, so they both do succeed, two more dice in the wound pile. The fours require fours to make an eight, so one of those succeeds, one more in the pile. And the five requires not a one. So that's four <laughs> saves to be made on the night. Yeah, two six damage each. So here we go on his three up in hold then. He's powered up. Can I save him? Can oh, I? two fails. Go on then. Two D6 damage. Oh, nine. nine. Awesome. I've got a taste of blood. I'm out to fire the other six at him, I think. So he's down 15. Yeah. You'll see the swinginess of orcs now because I'll probably get the same number of hits on this knight as I did with two guns with six now. <laughs> so the remaining six guns into that knight. So we get three for that one, we get three for that one, we get two for that one, we get three for that one. And two of the dice let me down. One each. So now fours to hit. Come on, Grox. It's not that far away, you can't miss. We've got no extra shots that time, see? So yeah, I've actually ended up with five hits again, the same as I did with two guns last time. Okay, let's roll the wound rolls. So five to require a three to go with them. So two wounds there, and the one cannot pass, and three requires a five. Fails, so you've got two more saves there. Two, three ups. Mm -hmm. Pass them both. Passes, they're both through. Yeah. Okay, uh, this war box here will chuck his um, missile in there, so he's advanced, but he's an evil soul to them for five still. Nice. And a miss. Uh, and then um, we've got some shooters over here. So they're going to go. Uh, the six on this side will go into grey squad. Yep. And the remainder are going to try and pick up those last three guys there. Okay, what's the range on? Uh, 18. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll let you have it. And 10, 11, and 12. So 12 shots come into so that squad there. Hit on fives and sixes, and you get an extra shot on a six. That's four hits, wounding guard on threes. That's four saves on them. 
this on grey squad? Yeah, that's on the grey squad there. So this will be fives. Uh, so three more drop. Cool. And then I've got 12, so 24 shots going the other way. So now the shots to hopefully finish off those remaining three guards in the other squad. Just secure an extra kill point. Oh, oh, that's a good roll. Oh, yeah, so we've got four extra shots there. I really enjoyed using the whole army as um, uh, bad moons at the weekend. Because it made, like when you pick up all the ones and we roll them, it actually made the shooting just a regular shooter boys really quite good. Yeah. Six. Okay, and so you are in cover, so four up. Cover. So I'm on a four up. Three so he should still be three dead, but we'll see. It's not. Uh, it's two. It's two dead. Mm -hmm. Leave me with the sergeant. Ooh. Okay, so um, I think we're over to charges now. Uh, oh, that weird boy's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he melted his brain. Um, <laughs> No, he didn't. Oh no, he failed to cast. He failed right. to cast. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So he's left on one wound. It was this one that melted mm. his brain. Mm. <laughs> so if you do yeah, try and took a wound. get the uh, yeah, so war pass looking risky. Thankfully, Fist of Gork's not wounded yet. He's the one who's kind of matters the most at the moment. Uh, right, so it's going to be time for charges then. Um, so first, we're going to chuck. Uh, let's go for that unit first. So they're going to go for this strip here and that one last sergeant. So not everyone will be able to see. Mm -hmm. So I think we have four shots. We still can't see four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. six, nine. And they are within range of Yarrick. Oh dear. So, ooh, three hits no, so far. I really don't want to kill one because it'll stop my um, extra attack. Yeah, I'll lose one attack. I'll lose 20 attacks. So we're on four hits. We're looking for fives now, so this is where I'll probably fall down. No, Two again. Three. I've got to make a double six up then. Yep. Oh. Two fails. Okay, yeah, just take the two from the back then. Uh, from, the, from that side. From this side. Yeah, Okay, and then and the there's a pistol. There's a pistol. There's a pistol as well. Which misses. Okay. So, um. Need Nate. Plus one, need Nate. Reroll one or both. Reroll both this time. There we go. There we go. They're out, so they're stuck on the edge of the board. Um, Swinging in the breeze. Mmm. I'm going to get some dice because I think you're going to charge the knight, aren't you? I don't think I will charge the knight, I don't know. Yeah, I think I will charge the knight actually. With yeah, I'm going to charge the knight. The boys are going in first and then that little war boss will try and come in next. Right, D6 auto hits. Two. Wounding you on threes. That's just one. one. Uh, no save. Nope, one dead. Stubbers. Uh, gets me one hit. And one wound on the stubber. Mm hmm. Uh, one six up. Nope, another one dead. D6 from the missile pods gets me four. None from that. And then four, eight, twelve, fourteen. That's a win. Yeah, any yeah. six counts two hits, so no, it's, it's big. All one, is one, two, three. three. Yep, so you got six hits. Here comes six. And three's to wound them. Three to kill. Three to kill indeed. Uh, so right, yeah, three. And three. then the rapid fire battle cannon. Two d six shots gets me eight. Mm -hmm. Six. Eight. Uh, just the one hit. Okay. And it would be a two. And that's another one dead. Mm -hmm. Okay. So those boys heading in. Five. They're, They're in. Five, yeah. <laughs> They're well and truly. So how many attacks have we got coming in here? Uh, I've got my war boss next. So this war boss is going to come into the fight as well. Uh, I can't overwatch now. Nope. So he goes in. He's just straight in. So, uh, you have got enough space for up still, haven't you? I have. Um, I might as well swim with the war boss first, so I can just take casualties off the back of the, um, the squad of boys. So he hits on two, he's a big chopper. But he's strength seven, so we're not five. So that's one wound, AP minus one, two damage. So we're on a four up. 
which I make, yeah, okay. uh, and then activating the voice. So four attacks at the power core first. I'll do my piling as well in a minute, that'll be a good idea. And then, uh, yeah, I've not even piled them in. No, yeah. So let's actually get some more boys in the fight. Okay, so uh, two hits with the power claw, strength 10, so three is to wound, one wound with the power claw, minus three, so six up. Six up. Oh, is that not a fail? Oh, no, D3 damage. Six two. two, so he's down to 13. Do we get him degraded? Let's see for boys now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 boys, uh, 4 attacks each. So, 60 attacks. Let's do uh, 30 twice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 5, and. Yeah, there's 30. So we're hitting him on threes. And then um, we'll be looking for just fishing for sixes to wound, sadly. Not those uh, scar boys that roll with Gaskell who gets strength five. And looking for some lucky sixes. One, two, three, four. And then I'll get started on the second half of the attack. Not roll bad. The so first. let's see if I can pass any three ups. And I fail one. So he's down to 12, he is degraded. And then the other half of the attacks here. Did you say so? <laughs> the, re the actual replay will tell us. <laughs> Comment if it wasn't. Yeah. And five saves. Ooh. Uh, so I fail another one, so he's down to 11 wounds. He's properly in his mid tier, mm -hmm. but he's not at risk of dying now. What well, house is he? Tyrannus. Tyrannus. Oh, so you can pay to get So I can off. pay one CP to uh, operate on his top bracket. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, so then you've got your attacks to direct. Six, nine, twelve. Oh. Three, six, nine, twelve. So I'm hitting on fours now. Yeah. And I think, as much as I would like to get a kill point from the war boss, you'd rather thin out the boys. Yeah. I mean, actually, I can move over the boys. Yeah. So it's not necessarily mm. a bad thing. So yeah, I will. How many wounds does he have, the war boss? They've got six and the toughness five. With a. What is it? Um, five up? No inbuilt. It's got four of armor, so yeah. Four of armor, so yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All into him, screw it. Mm -hmm. I can't be bothered working out the maths. Three, yeah. one, six, no. So I'm hitting on fours now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a bad roll. Oh god. Oh no. I am wounding him on three, so. Oh! No, so he just takes d3 wounds then? Two. Two, so he's down to four wounds then. It's not what we wanted. Is that travesty? Mm. Okay, so at the end of my turn there, I've had a bit of a weak turn to be honest. Uh, I'm going to discard defend five, so that one's gone. And before we do kill points, there are some. Uh, Morales Morales as well, yeah. Um, so I have done behind enemy lines for one. Uh, here we go, I was one charge short of doing that, and I've begun defend three at the back here. So I've scored just one on cards, which takes me up to 11, and then we'll see what happens on the kill points. Oh, yeah, got some morales to do now. Yeah, so on the grey squad here, they lost seven this turn. They are within range of the priest and his relic, so on a double one, nobody runs away. There's a one. And so you just need anyone. Anyone, yeah, you pick yeah. the lowest. And then this guy here isn't in range of that. And he is in range of an officer, so he's leadership eight. He lost two, he can't fail. Yeah, he's fine, yeah. Leadership okay. eight, losing two. He's okay! Uh, so I'll draw my cards. Mm -hmm. I still have secure objective five from last turn. We get to draw another three. Overwhelming firepower. That's a good one for guard. Behind enemy lines, I may struggle with. Oh, yeah. And last one is secure objective three, which I believe is in Sam's deployment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. 
<laughs> just what we want. Yeah, three. I've got someone sat on three. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we'll be back at the end of my movement phase. Mm -hmm. Turn three movement phase, yeah, is it? Turn, turn three? three? God, I want to turn three. Okay, so the shield captain and Yarrick have come over here to deal with this threat. The priest and company commander, uh, they advanced just to maximise the range of their buffs because the priest gets plus one attack and this guy lets them reroll ones in the fight phase. And this squad's obviously coming in to deal with this threat as well. Grey squads just push forward for a bit of board control. Maybe they'll be able to make a late grab for one of the objectives. Same with these two squads here, but I do still have the remnants of two infantry squads in here uh, keeping those objectives. Uh, for four pillars, it's only troops that can hold it. Over on this side of the board, I powered up the knight for one command point to get him operating on his full uh, full stat line. I didn't get the command point back, so I am only down to one now. And he's fallen back over this uh, boy's squad. We've pre-measured it, so the closest model is this weird boy on one wound. Um, but he's unintentionally being blocked by Sam's... Uh, should we say creative placing of this yeah, my, uh, orcish? <laughs> I painted up some orc terrain to theme the board this week, so it's just the bits from the Speed Freaks box, but it's accidentally meant that he can't charge my war boss because <laughs> there's nowhere to put the knight and he can't cross them. Yeah, accidentally. Accidentally. So, you know, you know your models, yeah. you're corrupting the footage, yeah. you're deploying the terrain. <laughs> you are not a Sam. Whatever it takes. You're not a Sam. Whatever it takes to try and win the inaugural report. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's the movements done, and in terms of orders, um, this black squad here is going to get first rank, second rank. The grey squad will probably be out of range for it. Yeah, so boys are so dead. Hopefully, um, the mobsters again—they're getting the same reroll ones to wound. They've already got reroll ones to hit. I did consider sending Yarrick over to give them full rerolls, um, but I thought he's potentially more use over here. And that's it in terms of orders. No one's getting moved or move or anything. So straight onto the shooting phase. So we'll start off with this squad over here. Mm -hmm. And in terms of range, they are all in range. Yeah, everyone's fine there. So it is 37. 37 shots? Yeah, wish I'd made that bloody charge. Be none of them left. So we're on fours with full rerolls here. And this is just 20 dice, so we have another 17 to come after that. So a lot of hits so far. At least you need five to move. It's a lot. So that's 17 hits from the first 20. Looking for fives now. Ah, that's where I fall down. So we're on two, three, four. Do you want to roll the saves? Yeah, six ups. Three down. Just grab me three from uh, the back somewhere. There you go. And another 17 coming our way. Mm-hmm. Oh, Dice escape. Okay, down to 15 in that squad now. So this isn't quite as good, but I've got the full re-rolls to try and bring it back. Ooh. You might have looked out here. No, the way around. One, two. Not what I wanted. Oh, well, you can clobber him in combat. Yeah. The only thing is, I've now got to shoot the mortars when I really don't want to shoot the necks. Yeah, because they've been ordered. Yeah. Because you want to see if cause you could just dink him with them, with the missile pod, can you? Well, that's the plan, and I think I can dink him anyway. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, you do have to shoot the horses. But you know what? That is not a bad idea actually because he's in range of these bodies. So let's put the first mortar squad over there. To okay. Definitely so get a whole the squad on that, on that guy. Okay. Yeah. Stop me getting defend three. So here we are. Three d six shots gets me. No, he's gone. Thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> Not surviving that. Stranger things have happened. True. Okay. Yeah, like that night in combat. Those are the only ones. There we go. So a few ones. Like whenever I touch dice by the looks of it, this game. And falls. Oh, falls are your other ones again for the mm -hmm. order. Yeah, I like them better. A couple of ones. Oh, that's nice. So, he might die. six. He does get cover. Okay, here comes six five ups. Save. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It looked like he was going to do it then. There's still a long way to go at three passes. Mm. Sit with victory. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, that stops me getting uh, defend three this turn. So it does. So then, where do I stick this last mortar team? I think maybe I go for the loop. Yep. Our boys, our boys. Boys, boys, boys. Yeah, I think I'm going for the boys. <laughs> Probably controversial. We'll see. Oh, uh, now I'm going for these lot. <laughs> these in the corner, 3d6, gets me 10. Decision makes me feel warm on the inside. I can kill them all, it's just the order. <laughs> Uh, four three dozen ones. Uh, one one. That's a good roll. Yeah, it's a wound. Four three dozen ones. There's a one. Is that a full house? No, it's not. But it's five. Uh, yeah, six. Six. Yeah. Six six up saves. No cover this time. Oh, past three. Oh, yeah. Yay! <laughs> Passing three orcs from uh, the back. Not the knock. Not the knock. Yeah, not the knock on his shotgun. It's not really a shotgun. There's, there's a rules for orc shotguns. Okay, so now that's the uh, ordered squad's shot. Move on to the shield captain. He's not in rapid fire range. Mm -hmm. Two three rolling ones into this squad. All hit. Mm -hmm. Fours, no re rolls this time. Ooh, two. Just two. Oh, you oh, Did you not pet it with the camera? <laughs> oh, just no, not. I didn't see it either. I wasn't watching. <laughs> it was, it was if it's real. not on camera, it didn't happen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> go on, we'll, let, we'll yeah. let you have it. We'll let yeah. you have no, it. No, I didn't get the double six yeah, that time. Fine. So very good. It's fine. <laughs> uh, okay then, so in terms of Yari, he's going to do... Two shots from his stone bolter straight into this squad as well. Mm -hmm. So it's twos, re rolled in all. God. Yep. There we go. And the fours, no re rolls. Brilliant. Just what we want. Well done, Yarek. That's because he's almost falling apart on yeah. a single wound. Oh, he is on a single wound. Yeah, he's been absolutely count, so. pasted. I really wanted to kill him. I'm so annoyed. Because I don't think I'll get back to him now in no. this game. Yeah. I really wanted to get the Yarek. Okay, so two last good shots from here into these boys. Uh, I think I'm out of range of Yarek. Yeah. So it'll just be fours, no rerolls. Both hit. Fives, no rerolls. No wounds. Ooh, that's big. Both our turn threes have been a whiff. Yeah. Yours yeah. less so, actually. But. <laughs> And so, you're not finding that yet. Let's take a look. Right, so I've got two last pistols in here from the platoon commander and the last guy from the squad. So mm -hmm. first last pistol, fours re-rolling. No. Nope. And then threes re-rolling from the platoon commander. There we go. And on a five. No. Just trying to plink away these guys and it's not happening. So... I don't think you've still got Basil in the corner. Yeah, I don't necessarily think that's worth it. So I think what I'll do, I'll move on to the night, and I'll do 
Flamer and Stubbers into this magic man. Yeah. I will do the Relic Gatling into the Looters. The Ignore's line of sight and the battle cannon. Which boys do you like least? You know what I'll do? Ignore's line of sight and battle cannon. And, uh, cool. All right, let's go. Oh, the decisions. Right, D6 auto hits from the flamer. Six. All right. So any roll of the three kills him. Because he's not, he's only got a six up. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's so well and truly dead. dead. Okay, so that's the stub is wasted, but yep. probably a good shout. Yeah, it was good just to keep it safe. Yeah. What's this now? The Gatling. Fourteen. Yes, that was into the looters, wasn't it? Oh, please roll a lot of ones and twos. So I'm back on my top four fire. Yeah, yeah. So on three. Oh, nice. Even watching someone else fire there, night, I get like a. Uh, I live vicariously through the fire. A warm fuzzy. So yeah, yeah, only one two. six, which means that that is ten hits. And then threes to win the loot through, threes to kill all these actually. Yeah. There's no more grots to chuck in the way of the bullets. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, so that's seven. So I'm down to ten looters now. One, is that seven, three, six, eight? Eight? Ooh. Seven, eight. So I'm down to nine looters now. So does that mean I'm really nine? Issue. I've lost seven. So um, it could potentially be, yeah. Oh, yeah. this is what we want. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we want. Okay. Yeah, so, so a three or more would fail on that. So the D6 rocket pod into these boys here, yeah. I said, didn't I? Mm -hmm. So a number of shots. Four, I'll take that, that's not bad. Threes, three hits, and threes to kill. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, the just one. Yeah, um, yeah, it took me one there. Just one. I'll do on the end, yeah. Okay, and then the rapid fire battle cannon was going here, wasn't it? So two D6 shots gets me seven, exactly average. <laughs> Slightly better than average, not fine. And uh, two's to kill again. So only three. One, two, three. They won't be scared. Okay, I think <clears throat> let's just measure some ranges. I might have some small arms. No, I don't need any of All those boys. All the laser pointers are out of range. Just the basilisk. I don't think. Oh, I don't think Archie can see, can he? No. So, just the Basilisk yeah. left to shoot then. So do I go for this squad? This squad? Or the Looters? Mm. The Looters are a really tempting target at this point. But at the same time, if I roll the one on their shots, they're still to do nothing. Yeah. With, without the stratagems to put into them, they're not, they're not particularly threatening. Mm. I feel like you're trying to tempt me here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to shoot any of those three no, units. Don't shoot anything. I'd, I'd rather you just shot a met gun. I've got spare <laughs> met guns to shoot one of those. How many have we got here? Three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, I'm going for this squad then. Cool. Because like you say, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you get his face when I roll the three on shots. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Has to be done. Number of shots. It's ooh, ooh hoo, hoo, hoo. marked to death there. Come on. Four's re rolling ones. Oh, come on. Three <laughs> twos, two hits. Go on. Two's to kill. There we go. Alright, so what you've done there is you made me lose D6 on the morale check for them. So okay. it could it could decimate the unit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so I think that's it in terms of shooting now, well and cool. truly, one hundred percent. So we're onto the charge phase. I'm not charging the war boss. I'm charging the boy. You can't. You can't. I'd probably get within one there, uh, maybe. But yeah, into the boys. Into one the then. Boys. So uh, hit with some pistols. Well, how many's left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So twenty-one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I haven't got um, a one. Five power, I've got a three. Uh, one. Sixes, I'll begin with two hits, two extra shots, just two hits, sixes to wound him. Nope, nothing on the nine. Can he get in? Yeah, you'd hope so. Well, oh. <laughs> measure it, it's worth measuring it. It, it looks is. like it might be four inches, so I think it might be in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So I can just move to there. Actually, I think I'd have to be there, wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. And then I can pile in and consolidate and everything. Okay, so it's going to be the guardsman over okay. here. How many boys have I got left? Uh, three, six, eight plus the knob. So that's uh, 19 shots. Two again. Drops. One hit. Three storied guardsmen. One wound. One. Uh, they're not all in cover, so it's five up. And one drops. So then I roll my charge there and let's see how far they can get. Five inches. Okay. So. I need to try and keep these daisy chains back. Oh, I see. Yeah. To get my bullets. You can get your characters in. Yeah. <laughs> so I've definitely succeeded in the charge. It's just yeah. okay. So we've managed to get a fair few in over here. Mm -hmm. Daisy chaining back, so I'm within six of the characters. So I get my plus one attack and my reroll once in the fight phase. Um, you can't interrupt. Can you? No, I'm fully out of CP, so no interruptions. Right. So. Um, since we're down here, we might as well carry on. Um, so in terms of pylons, uh, I get to go up to three down there, so let's just remove every one. I know that was interesting, but we didn't really do much. I don't think I can get in within one. Oh yeah, he's within one of him. He can't attack, he can't attack. So we get three, uh, no, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve attacks. Mm -hmm. So we have fours, re rolling ones. Uh, no whoops. Only two miss. Three miss. Mm, nice. I don't think it falls as well, yeah. yeah. I don't think it'll finish you off. Well. Oh, just three. Three six ups, two dead. Uh, two from the side who won't be able to fight. There you go. <laughs> and then onto the knight, who's going to tap dance all over these boys. Yeah. Three, Do you six, want to pile him in first? I'm you about to. Yeah. Fight, yeah. So, well, I have to, to kind of go there. there. Yeah. Don't and then you consolidate. Uh, oh, actually. Yeah. And you be able to cross the hooks, you can't move away from my unit, so you won't be able to cross the two foot line. Because if I just leave them there, there wasn't it? Yeah, so with your three inches, you just got to end up closer to my unit than you began. So I just go like that, don't I? But then you're not over the two foot line fully. I think it's possible. It's possible if you wipe the unit, because then you can move towards someone else and end up. But there's no yeah. way to get further away from them. Which drags the base there because you have to end the movement closer to the model of base. Mm. How do you feel about that? A little bit disappointed, <laughs> but you know. It was going to be a nice little trick. Yeah. It was. Oh well. Here we go then. Three, two, hit. Cool. This knife should be hitting on fours, of course. Well, at least try it. And uh, two to kill. Oh, oh every on. time I say that, I roll a triple one. <laughs> That's just five death. There we go. And uh, do I get to punch you back now? You do. Excrements. <laughs> right, so let's chuck these guys in the middle. Uh, war boss, can you go with an inch for an inch? Let's go on, give him a snip snip. Okay, there we go. So I'll do these guys first. So there's going to be, there must be under 20 in there now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah, 16. So three attacks with the claw. Force to hit. All hit. Oh. He's not going to steal the war boss's glory here, is he? They've all wounded. Because the strength 10 knobs. So six ups. Yep. Oh, just 2d6 going through. 2d3 oh, to the claw. So three more damage. Puts him down to eight. Yeah. Find it, there we go. Eight cool. guys. Yeah. Uh, and then the regular choppers, of which there's four, five, six, seven, eight boys, at three each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boys. Nice. Going dashed away now. 
Let's take okay. ones and twos. Well, that's a nice roll. But yeah, it's not bad, that, is it? But yeah, you're fishing for sixes to work. Yeah, yeah. I think you probably yeah. get three at the most, I think. Average. One. One. Uh, so it's three up. Mostly ones there. Uh, must have microwaved the wrong side of my dice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so over here now, what yeah. can I get there? <clears throat> Pile me in there. Yeah, try and get everyone in. How many are hit here? Uh, all of them. So three, four, five, six. So plus three the for the knob, oh, plus the knob, so seven in total. Yeah. So the knob will get uh, three attack space, no additionals, and then the rest of them will get two each. So There's a six boys one. Yeah. yeah. The same as all sitcom. <laughs> uh, three is to hit them. Uh, once again, three. Two there. Oh, yeah, we're we watching you. <laughs> what was that double six you rolled before? So? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six saves on those. T shirts. And I fail. So let's go one, two, three there. So they lost four that turn. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to consolidate? Uh, yeah, just push me in a bit. I'm, I'm not too bothered. There's nothing I'm trying to accomplish with it particularly. All right. So morale for them. So there's seven left. They lost one to your overwatch the previous turn. That means twelve have died this turn, and there's seven at leadership. Seven. So it's seven, eight, nine. Lost twelve, so three for three from the back. There you go. Okay. Thank you. So then in terms of my squad, I lost four. They are leadership eight. So let's see. Uh, that's a pass on a four. Yes it is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and then these boys over here. They're fine, they're leadership. 15 or 16 or something stupid. Yeah. Okay, and then onto the looters. Oh yeah, so the losers lose D6 because you killed exactly their leadership value. Oh. I'll leave the one with the pirate hat, you can stay. So there's five losers left, so it's not, not going to be that dramatic, Okay. whatever they do. So in terms what of you, what did you get the that race? objective, I didn't get the enemy lines. Uh, so, so that says that. I did get overwhelming firepower, but I think I only killed two units, didn't I? Not yeah. three That's right, yeah. in the shooting phase, so it's just for one. So just for one. Um, in terms of these, I think I'm going to discard this one in the corner. That's one. And then that's three over there. Yeah, so I'm going to discard secure objective three. And I've got over on the firepower for one. Um, for the first time this game, though, I have got one for four pillars. You have, yeah. Yes, so that's two for me. Did you get four pillars and kill points, yeah? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. I only killed one unit. So, you so I'm up to two, points. and I got the kill point yeah. differential, so I'm on nine. And one. So it's nine, eleven at the moment. Uh, okay, so I'll draw some cards. I'm going to hold on to Defend 3, and I'll hold on to Here We Go Wah. He stopped me from getting Defend 3, because I just pretty stupidly put one model on, forgetting he had line of sight. Uh, ignore us. So my extra two cards is Secure 2, which is crap, because he's on it. And No Prisoners. That's fine, I was planning on trying to kill some units. So that's, that's, that works out just fine. That was planned. That's always a good one, yeah. It's always planned. Yeah. There's a number turn. of these cards which are just play 40k. Right, so here we go, top of turn four. So, um, I have moved a weird boy back to sit on three. Hopefully the mortars won't be able to pop him and stop me scoring two points. Uh, Warboss has come forward. Um, he should hopefully be able to finish the night off this turn. Uh, and then the other bit of movement here is this Warboss has advanced from back corner of this building here. So you can move really quite far with Evil Sons because he adds one to his movement and his advance roll. Places him just in range there to fire the teeth at these guys and the flavor at those three. So I'll get to use that extra relic that, um, that we purchased from him at the beginning of the game. So uh, we'll do some psychic powers um, and then move on to shooting. So this guy's not going to cast anything because I don't want to die. <laughs> Go on. Um, and this guy's going to try and cast uh, Fist of Gork on the war boss to make him wound knights on a two. So Fist of Gork going off on a seven. It does go off, and we'll see what we add to it, because he might have burned himself a little bit there. So that's nine, if there's ten boys within ten inches of him. One, 
the back of the race. Ten boys in ten inches. I think there's eight there, and there's himself and the war boss. So I think he's done it. He's done it. Yeah. So the, yeah. How many D3? Yeah, he counts his own brain for that. So he takes two, two. so he's down to two. Ah. Oh. <laughs> don't want to re-roll that. No. No. <laughs> well, if it's two or three, it still means you get scared the next time you cast. Yeah. Uh, right, let's move on to shooting then. So we'll do this guy's relic guns first, because I think they're kind of cool. So first up, the heavy flamer into these guys. Gets five hits. Oh. And then uh, two to kill. Is it? Three. Yeah, three. So four minus ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dead. It's a cool little relic, this, because it replaces the shooter part of the weapon's profile. So if you take it on a heavy flamer, you effectively end up with triple heavy flamers. So two of them are range 12, which are the ones that fire the teeth, and one of them is a regular heavy flamer at range 8. So it means that you can have like a sort of character hidden, and when he comes forward, he can, he can do a bit of damage to like a weaker infantry squad. It's a cool little relic to take. It's the um, Bad Moon's exclusive one. Because only bad moons are rich enough to fire teeth at people. <laughs> uh, and then uh, we've got nine auto hits on these guys. And I fluff that roll. Oh dear. After saying how good it is against uh, light infantry, we've got three wounds out of nine on yellow squad. So three six ups, only two draw. Cool. Right, next up I'll try my luck with the looters into yellow squad. So let's see how many shots the looters are getting. The first time they rolled it all came. So that's 15 shots. So they're hitting on fives because they have stayed still. Sixes trigger extra shots. So we get two extra shots on the sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. And then we roll in one. Oh, yeah, thank you. No. That's what gets to being good. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> five wounds of minus one now. On yellow. Uh, let's see what we can do. Oh, and that's five gold. There we go. Do you want a shot of the face of someone who's just realised they've been really stupid? <laughs> I have to declare three charges to score a command point, and I've not set it up. So I've set two up here, and I've left him. I mean, you can have a pop at them, but you need to, you need to roll a... Uh, Eleven. Well, ten. Ten. With a plus one, so he needs to make a nine. Oh. Or he could have a go. He'll probably declare on that priest there and give that a go as yeah. well. But, yeah, it's not you ideal. think about it. No, well, I thought about it, and then I thought, I've got that one covered, and then just, <laughs> just didn't bother to actually do anything with it. Um... Right, more shooting then. So I think what I need to do now is turn the big guns on the uh, on the infantry because that will hopefully stop some scoring from happening. So we'll start with four met guns into beige squad. Beige squad, the squad no one wants to be assigned. To. <laughs> so three for that one, two for that one, one for each of those. So fours to hit and extra shots on the sixes. Nice. Nice. nice number of hits. So now anything two or more auto wounds, because it will be on two dice. So one requires anything but another one to be a successful wound. Yeah. That wound. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, AP minus four. So seven dead from uh, beige squad. There we go. And then we'll put another two guns into them. And uh, we've got a squad that's hidden there yeah. and one that's in the open. So we'll put one into the squad oh. in the open. Can they be seen? No, yeah, you, 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 you tell me. If not, I'll put one. Oh. No? Uh, I think two. the two on the right can see. Alright, we'll go all four into beige squad just to avoid uh, it being difficult to work out. And I'll try and finish that squad off with the kill points. So, reasonable number of shots there. A very bad number of hits. <laughs> one hit. A one to reroll as well. No, no, they don't get access. Oh, they don't. Shot. Yeah, they do get the extra shots on sixes, so just one more dead from the base squad. Yeah, they get access to um, extra shots on sixes because they have the DACA rule on the profile, but they don't get access to the culture that the orcs have because um, they're yeah they're just not allowed to have them basically. Uh, so I think that's it for shooting. Any pistols? No, because I want the war boss to have the glory of. <laughs> of doing what he's about to do. Um, what about these guys? Oh, he's got no pistols there either, yeah. They've all just got big shooters. So it's going to be the charge phase then. So we'll send the war boss into the night. Oh, he's in. He's in. And then we'll try this guy into these. Um, and you know what? He's going to declare on the priest in the Arik as well. So if he gets a ridiculous distance, I want him to crash into the Arik and finish him off. Okay, so. The his rapid fire auto gun, might as well do them together. So that's this squad and this. Yep. 
gets me. One hit. I should have rolled that separately yeah. because they get to re-roll, but that's my fault, so we'll forget that. And that's wound. one wound. Four up. He takes another one on the way in. Can Yarrick and down? Yarrick the as well. This is, is Yarrick in rapid fire range? He's just out. So two shots. Both miss. Rerolling. Both miss. Right, let's hope for a huge distance so I can finish Yarrick off with this. Oh, that's going to be the re-roll for here we go. No, oh, oh, eight inches eight. won't get me anywhere. So get you a nine. That gives me nine inches of movement, but no, leaves me an inch no. away, so he's left out there to die. Yeah, I believe I'll be an inch short of him too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Am I just nine inches? Yeah. yeah. Can get me then over the ten to get through him? Okay, and then this weird boy, uh, he might as well join in the front. He's probably not going to do anything. Okay, so first activation, the war boss. So the war boss will get four attacks regularly. Gets an extra two for having Fist of Gore cast on it. So he wounds on twos. Hits on, two. Hits on twos, rather. <laughs> Rerolling ones. And the reroll ones is for um, his warlord trait, I believe. Okay, so he gets all hits, and then he now wounds on twos because he's now uh, plus two to his strength, which makes him strength eight base, strength sixteen now. So twos to wound, and he rerolls ones because of the relic claw. Uh, so that's uh, six six ups at four damage each. Oh, so I need to pass four, six, four. Seven, five, five. No. I need to pass. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. no. You can only I need to pass five out of six. Yeah. Oh, you came so close. Okay, so Corbin's passed four out of the six, six. six up saves on his knight. So if he passes one more of them, he'll save the knight. He'll be on four wounds. There's more attacks to come in. But uh, he's just wondering whether it's worth a command point. I don't think it is. For a one in six chance for my last command yeah, point. If I, I had a couple that. more, yeah. I'd probably do it. better thing to spend me on. So now see if the knight blows. So, this is where I don't want to see I'll a six. I'll pick the dice that's on a one, and I'll warm it up. <laughs> this is where we want a six, guys. Yeah, I'll my army with it. Oh, oh, I, I saw, saw it. it! I saw it for a second. Oh. Is, is this where the command points get spent now? I don't think there's really anything else I can do in terms of command points. I think it is where it comes from now. So, this is the reroll, because I do get to try and regen. Oh! No! It's the wrong side of the dice. Do I get a command point back? No. no. Insult no. to injury. We are both on zero. <laughs> and then the knight comes off the board. There he goes. That's just one kill point though. It only counts as one. Yeah, true. Consolidation. <laughs> Shall I leave someone in three for the wall boss? Because that'll help me... Uh, with morale when they get shot at. So then um, you activate these boys yeah, first. Yeah, there's four left, so three uh, attacks for one. Three in the knob. Yeah. So, uh, oh, sorry, two attacks each, so six attacks and then three for the knob, so nine attacks total. Three to hit. Nice work, boys. That's uh, six saves to make on them. Five ups. Oh, that's six dead. I think that might be the squad. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's the squad. Oh, that's another kill point. And then we've got a bit of morale to do on these two squads. We have. So the yellow squad uh, aren't within range of an officer. Neither of them are actually. So they're both lead ship seven. They're not in range of the relic. So you lost seven. Yellow squad. Seven, eight, lose one. Lose one more. Yep. And they've lost eight. So it'll be this plus one. Oh, they're dead. They're off. Off. That's another kill point. Um, okay, so at the end of my turn on the scores, I have done no prisoners because I did kill units. Do I destroy a unit if it runs from morale? Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, I've reached three then. Uh, was it just three that you killed this turn? I, think I it don't was, know. I, think I got the nine, that unit, and that unit at the back. I think that's, that's it. That's three, yeah. So that's three for no prisoners, so that's two points for that, up to 13. Then here we go, what I messed up on. <laughs> Secure two, I'm going to discard because it's in Corbin's deployment. I've begun defend three once again, and I'll keep here we go for the next turn. Okay. Actually, no, because I'm not going to do it, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'll just, I'll just leave it. Okay. Right. So here we are. Oh, and can I consolidate my arcs into the you building if possible? Can. Do you just want to go into Yeah, ju just, just to touch tow them in for a bit of cover. Yeah, and then it's turn four for the guard. Okay, so I get to draw two cards here. 
Need some Sausage. good drawers here. Uh, Kingslayer. <laughs> I don't think Coffee's happy with that one. Secure four, mm, which I have. Yeah, you've got your own yeah. four, aren't you? I've got one and three. So, let's have a think about this and we'll be back at the end of my movement. So here we are at the end of my turn for movement phase. Not a lot's happened really. Um, this guard squad movement advance. They are now nine inches away from being within three of objective five. So they're about to get moved, moved, moved. Hopefully getting a three. Loads of the characters have come this way to try and deal with this orc squad. These guys have just moved a little bit forward to put the rapid fire range over here. Um, shield captain and Yarrick could also potentially go for these boys if it doesn't work out. Uh, and Parker has just stuck his head out with payback so that he could potentially go for him as well. Um, that's pretty much it. So on to the orders, the all important one. Can this squad get move, move, move and roll a three? Here we go. Oh, so let's just double check, but I'm pretty sure that won't be enough. Yeah. There you go, there, which is not enough. Three and a half inches from the centre. No! I have no command points to reroll that. What was that worth? One, one victory? Just one, but it would have been nice. Okay, so the rest of my orders then, the mortars are getting reroll ones to wound again. Um, over here, the platoon commander is going to order himself to reroll once to wound. The company commander is going to give himself and this lone guardsman reroll once to wound. Uh, and that's it in terms of orders. So let's start off then in this corner. So we'll start off with uh, a frag grenade from the platoon commander going into the alt boys, so number of shots. Four. So I'm hitting on threes, re-rolling. Uh, no, not re-rolling any hits, just re-rolling wounds. Oh, just the one. Uh, it's a wound, though. It is a wound. Take a six up on an orc. Nope. It's a five up, because you're in cover. I was a four, I think. Yeah, I'll have that one with a big long barrel. This one, or oh, this one. Yeah, with the goggles off. Go on, then. Oh, oh nearly, nearly. Yeah. Oh, broken model. Uh, what's fallen off him? He's all oh, gone. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Doesn't need it anyway. No. Okay, <laughs> so we'll move to the uh, priest. May as well do his next. So, three sh uh, only two shots, sorry. He can't shoot his pistol as well. One hit. Uh, fails to win. Then we'll do the bolt gun from the company commander. Both hits. And looking for fours, re rolling ones. That's two. Two, two six ups, two more dead. Two more yeah. dead. We'll just leave the knob, so the knob's got two wounds. And this leaves us then with a last pistol from the lung guardsman. He hits. He hits. He fails to wound. Okay, so then we have to go into the mortars. And I I think they're probably going to go for these boys over here, but they're, yeah, they're all in range. Um, so I'll do the first squad into them. Or do I go for the looters first? No, looters first. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Looters. Number of shots. Not great. Not what I wanted. So we're looking for fours, three rolling ones. Not bad. Towards the wound. Three rolling ones again for the order. Uh, there's a one. Can I convert it? I can't. So just two. Four sixes. Nope. Two dead looters. So I think I'm going to have to do the same again. Yeah, into the loot squad. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, that gets me 13. That's when I like it. Nice. Should be a dead loot squad. Yeah, they're all hit. Falls, re rolling ones again. So there's only one. Whoa. 
So it's just five. It's enough to kill them. Do it, yeah. Yeah, that's yes. yeah, so that's a kill point. Okay, and then we'll come on to Yarrick. He's yeah, that's all the order's done, isn't it? Yeah, so Yarrick into this fella. He is in rapid fire range. So two three rolling. That's good for yeah. And fives to wound on a wall, that's a five. Uh, just the one. one four up. That is a he four. Makes is it? it? Yeah. yeah. Couldn't see. Okay. So then let's try the six. Uh, let's try slowly rotating. I know, yeah, we're just <laughs> knocking it, don't we? Um, let's try the shield captain then. Two's re roll in. Yeah, this might be enough. Yeah, should expect the least four. Uh, one, two. Wow. Oh, there is four ups. Passing a fail down to yeah, four wounds on the middle. Yeah. Okay, so it's at this point. Oh, right. Sorry, I think I might have to put the basilisk in so <laughs> Because I can't charge him because he's got a 3d6 auto hitting weapon. Yeah, you don't want to charge him. Um, the basilisk has to go into him. Oh, Harker. Oh, yeah, go on. So let's try Harker. Uh, threes, re rolling ones. Oof. Nice. I think this will be fours, won't it? Yes. T5. Yeah, it's yeah. T5. Uh, so just the one. Minus one? Uh, I think it's minus one, two damage, isn't it, for Harker? I think, yeah, I think he's just got an extra damage every Volta. Um, minus two, one damage. Okay, so he needs a six up. Nope, yep. so he's down to three. Down to three. Yeah, and I think this now is. You're going to blast him with a basilisk shell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to have to, aren't I? And I'll put the heavy bolter in as well. Cause right, yeah, you've got that inside. Yeah. yeah. So let's try the big gun first. Oh, more war boss. Might as well re-roll that. Oh, and I get a six. So I'll be in second league on that. Give him the crap jobs. <laughs> Two ones to re-roll. Not bad. And then it'll be threes, won't it? T5. Yeah, so that's three. Minus three. Minus three. So he's auto dead. He's auto dead. Regardless of your damage. Bye bye. <laughs> so that's me up to two kill points so far, mm -hmm. I believe. You need to find two more, do you? Well, I need to find one to equal you. Okay. So, and stop you getting that one. Mm -hmm. So over here then, I think there's going to be some charges. Cool. Who's not anything first? else to shoot. Uh, I will start off with the platoon commander. Okay, I'll lower the shotgun and miss twice. So, can he go in? Oh, he can. Yeah, and then I'll start off. Go then to the company commander. A four should be enough. Yeah, yeah he's three and a half inches away. <coughs> uh, and do I stick priest in as well? He'll get the bonus attack. He'll get the bonus attack. So no, I'll leave him back and stop you hitting him. Cool. Okay, so. Don't imagine I'll be alive. Yeah. I'd hope not. <laughs> I would hope not. Yeah. So I'll start off with the company commander then. Uh, he gets, I think it's four attacks, is it? Oh no, three plus one, so four. He would be hitting on threes, but he's hitting on fours because of the power fist. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. All hits, yep, yeah. and then... Uh, twos to yeah, kill. Yeah, strength four, isn't he? Twos, twos, twos to kill, and yep. he's dead. He's so dead. that's equal on kill points this uh -huh. round. Um, and I think... Well, I'll do some of it this way, but I think that's my turn, isn't it? Yep. So, I got three kill points, so we're equal, nobody gets the bonus for that. In terms of cards, I didn't get Secure Objective 5, I didn't get Behind Enemy Lines, or Kingslayer, but I did get Secure 4. Cool. So that puts me up to 10. I also got one farming 2 on 4 pillar, which puts me up to 11. And you get two for and defend. I just score defend, which puts me to 15. 15, 11. Cool. And I'm going to discard. Ooh. I think I'm going to discard behind enemy lines because I just aren't going to be able to get there. And you might yeah. send the warlord forward to do some damage. So, so I'm stuck with here we go wow, which I'm not going to be able to score now. I've had this, I've had two opportunities to do it. Just messed <laughs> up both. Airy denial. <laughs> Uh, kill those two guardsmen. Yeah. Psychological warfare going to be very hard at this stage of the game. Impossible, in fact. Yeah. And defend two, uh, which again not great with using the two. 
Yeah. yeah. So this turn, I'm just looking at doing Aerie Denial, really. I'm not going to score some of this. I think he might even auto have Aerie Denial, to be honest, mate. Uh, okay, so uh, movement at the start of my turn five. I brought this uh, weird boy out. He's going to try and jump the boys over to here, where they can have a go at getting into the mortars without um, suffering any overwatch. So I'll try and send those boys over there for a, a lucky charge. No way to get Yarrick this turn. If it goes to turn six, I'm going to try and get Yarrick. But I can't really do it this turn. Um, so uh, that's pretty Pretty much it for movement, uh, so we're going to move on to casting. So I'm trying to put the jump on this unit, boys. Here, so I need a seven for it to go off. I won't be getting any pluses because everyone's out of range. So here we go, this is a big roll. And oh, it fails. Yeah. So those boys are staying where they are, to get mortared <laughs> off the board. Next turn, that was the chance of survival, but they didn't want to take it. Okay, so uh, we're ready to move on to some shooting. So we'll just wait for Corbin. And, uh, <laughs> so after failing to jump those boys it's the uh, shooting phase so we're going to try and kill these two here and then I'm going to see whether or not I might even be able to be, start poaching some characters with heavy weapons because there's a couple stood around here who might be closer I might be able to get Yarrick with a grot gun across the board <laughs> so first up let's put one grot gun into these guys here see if we get lucky with the first one we get three shots from the first one we need fours to hit so one hit and one dead guardsman, and we'll try the next grot gun to try and get rid of the sergeant. We get three again. <laughs> Looking for fours. We get two hits, one extra. Three hits. Should have fired this one first. That's him dead three times over. Okay, so now let's measure some distance. So, so hang on, which two So are these two have fired here. Then. Right. The two on this end who would be nearer to the mortars and stuff. So this one here, obviously this guy can go first. And then once he's dead, I'm going to see if I'm looking up over there. Well, there are infantry like there and yeah. there. So. Okay. Well, Yarrick's further forward than that, so I'm thinking on this corner, I yeah. can probably shoot Yarrick. If you've got line of sight, yeah. So that's which I may not have, but we'll see which ones do have line of sight. Some hopefully do. It's close. It's really close. I mean, you've got one, two. two. With line of sight in the middle, okay, because of the barricades. Okay, so those two will go for Yarrick because they're nearest character. So I think that's these two. That one and that one. Yeah. So these two here will go for the shield captain. Should have. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the remaining two will go for this guy. So it's basically two on every character. Okay. So we split it up. So first two on this guy with a power fist. Uh, just two shots. No hits. Then on the shield captain. Two shots. No hits. Still saving up for a good one on Yarrick. <laughs> on Yarrick, three, three shots. shots. Oh. Two hits. So he's toughness four, so that's an auto succeed, and this one is a succeed in anything but one. Yep, so there's two saves on Yarrick's inbound so against Two four up invulnerable saves. Come on, Yarrick. Fold. Yes, he oh, failed the well. Failed it. Two d six. He's gonna lose his last wound five times over. So well, he, how does that work? <laughs> well, you, you roll it five times in a row because he loses the last wound five successive five times. times. Yeah. So you can just roll so five times together. Twice, doesn't it? It's two. Yeah. Because uh, the additional damage is wasted. Oh, I suppose so. Yeah. Mm. Oh, interesting. Uh, that's never come <coughs> before. I think actually I would go with your side. I think it, I think you just rolled twice. Because mm. you can only lose his last wound once per shot, can't he? Technically, yeah. yeah. What do you guys think? Mm. We think that's yeah. a good way to. Yeah. I mean, I'm not in charge. I'm think not trying to be gamey. I think you're right. I think you're right. <laughs> Although, if I've done five wounds to him. Does he not have to negate all five? It's not a feeling of pain, is it? No, that's not. the thing. Yeah, it's yeah. each time Yarrick loses his last wound. And he can only lose it once per shot. Yes, yeah, because yeah. yeah. it takes him to minus two effects. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah let's go on roll five. Hopefully and I'm going to fail them both now. Hopefully he's still there. It's three ups, though, isn't three it? Ups. So it is three ups. He's probably going to live. Oh, oh no. he double snake one. eyes there. Goodbye, Yarrick. After all that. So that's another kill point. Yeah, right. he still dies. <laughs> Finally. Gaskell's going to be really pissed off at the neck who fired <laughs> at the Grok who fired that neck gun because he wanted to do that. Um, right, that's the end of my shooting, I think. So is it just one kill point? <laughs> just for blasting Yarrick. No, no I finished two. off then, so I've got oh, two Oh, two there. kill points. Cool. Yeah, I think that's it for my turn five. And what so, did you get um, in terms of I've cards? scored airy denial for two. I'm going to discard psychological warfare. No, I won't. I'll discard defend two because that's the far last line. Yeah. Well, where is two? Is two on that? 
Black card. Uh, yeah. Um, I'll get rid of uh, psychological warfare. I'll get rid of here we go because there's no way I can get three things to charge any yeah. of your units yeah. at this point. I mean, right, so score two. That's me up to seventeen there. Uh, then your turn five begins. Yes. Physically impossible for me to fail a leadership yeah. at this point. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Because Mortis can mm -hmm. pretty much never yeah. fail leadership. The lead, have, yeah. The lead, leadership seven because they're captain. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. We've got Secure 5, we've got Kingslayer, neither of them I can do. We've got Area Denial. <laughs> there you go, there's a free couple of there's points. There's a free couple of points, and Secure Objective 6. I can imagine for them, actually. You might only have it for the three foot mark, is there? The two foot mark. Should have got the three. There. So. No, I haven't got it. No. no. Uh, so I need to kill some of those boys. Yeah. Okay, we'll be back at the end of my movement phase then. Yeah. Okay, so here we are at the end of my turn five movement phase. We're all getting a bit thin on the ground now. Um, essentially, everything in here has stayed where it is. Um, everybody's moved into cover over there just to make sure that they can't be seen. The mortars and basilisks still haven't moved. Uh, this platoon commander has moved and advanced, and then the first order I'm going to issue is move, move, move. And roll a three, I can get him behind the wall so he can't be seen. Anything less than that, and he just sits on top of the objective and dies next turn. <laughs> so uh, let's see what we can do. There he goes. Do you want to just shove him behind there? Okay, and then the rest of the orders, you know it, you love it. It's re roll once to wound on the last squad. Yeah. <laughs> um, Where are you going? Okay, I think they're gonna go. I'm gonna put the first one onto the, yeah. the, okay, the weird boy. So we'll do 3d6 shots then over here. Triple ones. Uh, gets me 13. He should be, shouldn't he? Yeah, Three, that takes six. the jump out of the game, which means mobility's gone for me after that. Oh, hoo -hoo. that's not a bad roll. <coughs> a four, three rolling ones again. Wow. Three, six. So can you make six six ups? I can't really certainly try. I'll never not be able to see. No, no. can't make one. No. So that's another weird boy down. That's a weird boy down. Okay. And then the next mortar squad will go into these boys here. So three D six shots. Do it over here this time. Gets fifteen. Ooh. Oh, that's it. Right. So 15. Oh, 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 chucking down to like. Pause, re ones. Mm -hmm. so that is 11 hits. Pause, re and we're on what's that? Six, six, six yeah. Six, six ups. Make one this time. So five dead orcs. Can that take me down to ten? One, two, three, four, five. Not taking the ones that give you energy now for two. <laughs> okay. So on that note, let's put the shield captain into them. Six shots. Right. Two, three rolling ones. Oh, a couple of ones. Oh no. Oh. And that's three wounds. Two passes, one oh. fail. And then onto the basilisk. So technically I can kill the squad, but they could run away from morale. Yeah, you mm. can do some morale damage. So We've lost six so far. Let's see. Gets me the big six shots, Ooh. that's what we want. Yeah. Four, six. So we're on fours, re-rolling sure. ones. Oh, Just well. the one miss. And then twos, no re-rolls. Uh, so that is four dead orcs. Four, so that is uh, that's ten run away, and they'll get eight, eight or seven. I think it's eight. Ooh, it's, it's important. Boys, <laughs> <laughs> leadership seven with a knob. So it's whatever you roll plus two. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So I'll around now then. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the turn, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. This plus two. Four, run four. away. So this one, two, three, three four. I'll leave him to stop oh. you getting area denial. And I think that stops me getting the D3 for area denial. So that's 36. 
So we're on uh, there, aren't we? Yeah. We're we're 12 12 of that one. Ah. So what have you scored there? Two this turn? Uh, just two, yeah. And I'm going to discard Kings. Oh no, I'm going to discard... Where's six? Six is over there. Six is there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to discard Kingslayer. So that gets me two points. Mm -hmm. In terms of kill points, it gets me... Is it just... One. You one. just killed the weird boy. Yeah, so I've won on kill points this you time. You have, yeah. So it puts me to 18. Um, but then I get plus one for four pillars. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. an 18, 14. Okay. 18, What's the 40? kill? Okay. Uh, right, so you need to roll to see if the game yes. ends. Yes, so on a one or a two it ends, I think. Mm -hmm. so. That's the big roll. It doesn't. It carries on, so I so got turn six. Cards. So I've got psychological warfare and defend two, and then we'll see what else I can pull out. So I've drawn, grab the loot. So that's random objective, supremacy, control any three. Oh, that's good. That's doable. Okay, so grab the loot is uh, objective six. Is that that one? Oh, perfect. Right, that's come down nice for me there. So I can get supremacy, grab the loot. Yeah, we can get both of those. So that's six. Okay, so let's do some movement. These boys, go and grab that. Die next turn. Uh, this guy goes here and grabs that. This gun on the end here advances. Three inches plus two, five. Yeah, that gets him to the edge of the wall, so he's holding that objective. So this one there can't shoot. I'll just flip it the other way to remind me. And then I'm going to put seven guns into the shield cannon. What were the Number of shots here, so three for that one, three for that one, two for each of those two. And then we're looking for four to hit. Six is triggering extras, no sixes, but there's a decent number of hits. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, wounding him, we need fives to auto succeed, so non auto succeed. The one will require five to make six, nope. The two requires a four to make six, yep. Again, four. Yeah. Requires a three. No. Requires a three. Yeah. yeah. Requires a two. Yeah. So four saves on him. Is he the one without any? He's yeah, no fancy. So what's this minus? Four, four up, minus four. AP. Minus four. So it's on his four up in board. Uh -huh. Can kill him. Yeah, he could. But equally, you can pass four, four up. So the yeah. You save around really. Yeah. Uh, and I pass two, fail two. Two d six damage on him. What's he got? Seven wounds? Yeah. He's off. He's oh. off. Goodbye, shield cap. Goodbye, shield cap, Sam. Okay, so that's the end of my turn six. I've scored grab the loot for one, and I've scored supremacy for two, so that puts me up to 21. And how many kill points? Just the one? Just the one for killing your shield captain, and I'm going to discard psychological war. Okay. Mm. Your turn six. Time for me to draw my cards. We're going really quickly here. Yeah, I've still got last turns, turns yeah. Yeah. which I now cannot get. Uh, supremacy, which I've already got. Yeah, you've already gone for it. Assassinate, which is kill a character. I don't yeah, think that's anymore. possible. I've protected the war boss now. Um, Hammer of the Emperor, kill an enemy unit that's controlling an objective marker. So that's that grot gun. All those. All those, yeah. Okay. So I should be getting at least three. Yeah, if I can get good. two kill points, I'll take that as well. Yeah. Could potentially almost get quite close now. Yeah. Okay, so in terms of uh, my movement phase, probably nothing. Um, I think just in case we go another turn, mm -hmm. I want to move this guy. Okay. So this platoon commander moves in advances. He goes twelve. Excuse me. Um. Orders. He mm -hmm. move, 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 moves himself. Yeah. Nice. Goes another twelve. So he's just going to there. That's just in case we go another the turn. Then I've got the objective. Um, over here, they're going to reroll ones to wound again, yeah, cool. as they have been doing all game. Um, <clears throat> so I'll start off then with the first mort squad mm -hmm. onto here. So let's see if I can kill him. Three d six shots gets me thirteen. Cool. Done that a lot this game. Yeah. 9, 12, 13. Balls are rolling ones. Couple of ones. 
crazy walk all the way to the south. Bad. Whilst not wearing a Or even outside. Better than average. Mm -hmm. And we're looking for four three rather than ones again. Oh, there's a couple of threes there, but that's still good. Six. Should be enough. Yeah, that's the squad gone. That's point for you. Yeah, go on. And that's Hammer of the Emperor. Yeah. So I've got Hammer of the Emperor and Assassinate. We've not got Assassinate. Uh, not yet, sorry. Hammer of the Emperor and Supremacy. Um, he could potentially get Secure Six next turn as well. So, what do I go for now? <laughs> Try and kill a net gun, don't you? Yeah, yeah I don't, don't know if there's really basilisk. anything else I can shoot, is there? Yeah, so just see if you got the shots on the basilisk, really. Just go. Well, I need to put the mortars in first, yeah, because yeah. of the orders. Yeah. So 3d6 gets me 11. Yeah, so 4 and 5 to win this thing. ones. Couldn't convert them. Still not bad. And then five three rather than ones. Couple of ones there. Uh, that's just three. Okay, so three four ups. A less cover save. Uh, I don't know because that one's behind because they're not one full unit. So it is touching the cover and obscured as a vehicle by 50%. So it would get covered, yeah, so it's yeah. a three up then on those three. Fail two anyway, so it's down to four damage. Yeah, and then the Basilisk will come in as well. Yeah. Getting four, might as well re-roll it. Still getting four. Yep. Four's to hit. Rerolling ones. Ooh. And then down to wound. No re-rolls here. And that's a wound, so Yeah, so I've got my five up in ball. Nope, failed it. D3 damage. Uh, Top four. I'm can't afraid. kill it. No, can't. Uh, so it's just two. So it's down to two. So yeah. that means we've drawn on kill points. We've drawn on kill points. Yeah. I've still got hammer. Uh, no, sorry, four pillars. Mm -hmm. So I get one automatically for that. Uh, I get two for supremacy. One for hammer of the emperor. So that's three. Yep. So you match my score. In so I'm up to eighteen. Yep. Eighteen to twenty-one. Okay. Does it end? It's my turn now, isn't it? So yes. we're looking for a four up to continue now. That's the return seven. There, there is! is. <laughs> turn seven. All right. so, oh, sorry, actually, I'm going to discard Assassinate. Okay, cool. <laughs> Come and see what I can draw on this side. So, I'm having Blood and Guts, destroy something in the fight phase, master the warp. Yeah, I can do that. And Assassinate. Get a character. I'm going to try and get that guy behind there, aren't I? <laughs> Where is he? Stood here. There's one there. Yeah. <laughs> So you haven't got line of sight on either of them. I can charge him with the war okay. so I can do a big advance and charge. Is he there though? There. Oh, yeah, he's not on the near corner, yeah. is he? Hmm. Does get me blood and guts and assassinate though. But then I'm left out in the open for you to shoot my war boss next turn. <laughs> and then I get slay, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm best just to do Master of the Warp and just like try and cast a little buffy spell on that guy yeah. there. That's probably the best thing to do. So this one here will come over this way. So annoying, there's literally nothing on the bar for me to shoot, but I'm just going to have to wait for get shot by mortars and all the bloody stuff next turn. Right, so he's going to try and cast um, Fist of Gork. Succeeds on the seven. Yeah. So I've scored one point for casting Fist of Gork. Oh no, it doesn't go off, does it? Sorry. It no, no, it doesn't do any damage to him, no. <laughs> he is on one wound though, not eight. Uh, so that's me up to 22 now. again! Knocking these dice! It's now your turn seven, and then finally it will be over. <laughs> so, you didn't get a kill point. Nope. You got one... I've just scored one card, yeah. There's no point discarding anything, because it can't be a turn. So this puts you on 22? Yeah. 22 total, yeah. Plus whatever kill point differential is. So... Four behind, can you pull it back? I think... Whoa, I'm not going to jinx it. You need some... some no prisoners. Yeah. Kill units. I think you can do it. Yeah. I, think I can, I can do it. one. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I can well, get... Well, you've also got one point for having this, haven't you? Yeah, you've And got then you that. get an auto one for killing. So you score three points for killing one Grok gun this turn, basically. Oh, yeah, plus that. Psychological warfare. Can't do. I can't do. It's not possible. I've just got to hope this isn't a doable one. Defend objective six, which That's isn't possible doable. either because it doesn't so go means, on. So that means, yeah, I'll pip you by one point if you kill oh. one Grok gun. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay then, so... Although, what about Linebreaker? If you could move him and then move, 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 
Oh, it's possible. Uh, you could potentially. Oh yeah, you can get a draw. <laughs> you yeah. Get draw. I could. So I guess it's whether this guy can make it to there, isn't it? I think oh, he's going to need... Oh, because he to hold this. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. He can't do both. He can't do both. He can't so he's got to get right. no. into there and then him. Right, I see. Right. <laughs> yeah, you've got to try and do that for the draw then. It'd be nice if the first one was a draw. Yeah. Pretty cool. I don't think... Yeah, but if you can... Yeah. Mm. 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 Just glad there's not turn eight, because I'll definitely lose on turn eight. Actually, <laughs> I don't need to do that, because I've got one on objective five over there, haven't oh, I? Oh, he can run there. Yeah. So yeah. he can run. Okay, yeah, yeah, so he's going to move and advance in the movement phase. Mm -hmm. And he, I think he needs a 12, does he? Yeah. Total over. So he's auto in, but uh, he gets to go Start moving nine. Start moving just to here. Yeah. yeah. So I get him to that. And then, let's see, two foot. Yeah, he can't fail with his move, his move to get over the line breaker. Yeah. Can he make it to objective three? Because that doesn't count for no pillar. No, it won't. It's not a true. No. no. Um, I'm just trying to work out how he can win. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I literally I don't think it's possible. So, uh, yeah, he just moves around there, doesn't he? And he's, if it went on, he'd die, but he can't. <laughs> so, you've got to kill that. Met gun, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I, I think I can kill a met gun. I think I can kill a met gun. I hope I can kill a met gun. I hope I can kill a met gun. <laughs> Don't say these things. <laughs> okay, so orders. Same again. And he's getting move, move, move this time. So how far does he go? He goes a total of 10 inches. Can that get him inside the... 10 inches puts him... No, he can't secure just it anyway, outside, can he? Yeah. So yeah, just, just outside that building. But he gets in line breaker. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and... Uh, We'll then roll. Let's go for the first mortar squad then into the damaged mech gun. Because mm -hmm. if I get it on kill points, I can do it there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kill yeah, points. Kill range. Range. Yeah. 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 So let's try the mortars first. So it's just shields. 13. That's, hard. That's pretty good, yeah. 6, 9, 12, 13. Four zero rolling ones. But basically, it's going to be it's very situational. Just the one one. Can't convert it. Ooh. It's five three on ones this time, isn't it? Oh, that's not what we want. So three, 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 three ups. One fail down to one damage. So now. Oh, no, I've got another squad. squad. Cool. Okay. So same again. Yeah. I was, I'm not going to try splitting because it's not worth it. So that's a 11, mm -hmm. 6, 9, 11. Oh, there's one as well. Mm -hmm. Don't manage to convert. Oh. Six hits. Should be looking at two wounds here. Just the one with a reroll. Oh, it's two, two. Two three ups. Oh. Anyway, so that one's dead. And then you can try and get another one with a basilisk. With the basilisk. Might do it for your kill points. So, uh, you. Oh, it doesn't matter if that you're not in three, does it, with the grapplers? Okay, so the basilisk then will go into. Are they all under the Big Max force field? Yeah, they are all, because those belong to the Big Max. Yeah, they're all under the 9 inch bubble. Right, so there's no point. No, there's no particular one. Picking yeah, one. Not really. um, so 2d6 shots. Five, may as well re roll that. Still five shots. Balls re rolling ones. Ooh, no. two hits, three's to wound. Potential to kill it. No, just the one. So, one save. Which fails, D3 damage. And can't kill it, so it's just the one. One move. damage, and that one down to five. So at the end of that, I get a secure six. Oof. And. Can he not shoot? And no pistol. No, 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 no. I don't know. I don't think there's anything else so that no. can be done. No. I think that's the end of, the end of turn seven. That's the end of turn seven, yeah. Alright. So let's total up and see what the result was. So you get seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 for yeah. Sam. I get 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's oh. <laughs> an exact draw. Wow. I can't believe it. It's an exact, exact draw. There we go. Good, Good game, game, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like how that came out. Uh, nice. so, yeah, we'll be back shortly for a recap. Yeah. Cool. 
So, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed the first battle report there for Dangerous Terrain. Um, just before we go any further though, we did manage to find an extra kill point, so it is a win for one of the sides. Yeah. It Sam? wasn't mine, it wasn't my kill point. <laughs> it was mine. It was his, yeah. So it was a 23 to 22 it was, in the it end. It was 23 to 22, which I call a draw. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's I'm not. I'm sure you won. It's not a yeah. draw. It's not. So no, uh, the victory <laughs> went to him at the end. It was one of those games where... Um, it was turning against me in the later few turns, really. If it had ended five or six, I think I was about eight ahead, then yeah, four ahead, like that, and then yeah. by turn seven, I was just that one point behind. But it makes a great game for the first. It does, yeah. Have yeah. Something so close, it just shows really the power good. of yeah. indirect fire, really, in the yeah. late game. Um, okay, so what do you feel about your list? How did it play? I quite like it. I think it's got a lot of good elements to yeah. it. I'm not sure the knight did what I wanted him to do. Yeah, um, it's very CP hungry. Yeah. Um, I think maybe I'd put a battalion of scions in there instead for the extra command points. Uh, but he is a massive fire magnet and he's tough mm. to kill for certain lists. Yeah. So I really don't know. I think Yarrick maybe might be the one to go replace him with another basilisk because they're so powerful. Yeah. And you okay. really struggled with them, didn't you, towards the end? Yeah, the, the, that was really what started to swing it, is having no... Um, no indirect fire of yeah. my own and no way to dig out what was in the back of your of, uh, of your deployment zone. Yeah. Um, and orcs don't really have anything like that. I mean, you can be jumping boys up and there was a point where I failed to jump, I think, on around turn five, yeah. where I could have got a unit in and killed some of those mortars and that could have made a big difference to the outcome, yeah. really. Yeah. But the jump failed, there wasn't enough people around to give him the, the extras to cast. Um, but yeah, I think I think you're right with the knight in that matchup. It's not as useful, but... In, in an other one, it definitely yeah, is. It yeah, really because is. it's not against against orcs. There's there's really no optimal targets for it. No, because every mech gun is a different unit, and it just yeah. makes it so difficult to to decide what to do with it. And any source of ballistic skill three in an imperial guard list, you need in there for the yeah. um, Eldar oh, flyer yeah, matchup. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the shield captains were great. I overextended with them a bit in this game. Yeah. Um, but you have to deal with them. Which they again, were what swung the fire it. off yeah. everything else. Yeah, when bit. we played this the first time round and the Orcs lost by a huge margin, yeah. I think it was 19-1 or 18-2, it was the shield captains that swung yeah. it because I totally underestimated what they would do to Orcs and they can, a couple of them can go through a squad of boys quite yeah. easily in, in no short order at all. Yeah, um, yeah I think they have more good matchups than Smash Captains, uh, about the same points. So I think that we're going to be seeing them a lot more now that the Orcs are here. And cool. probably now Gene Steeler Cult are here. Yeah. They can go through Gene Steeler Cult as well. So yeah, really it's having the combat table. ability and then it's having the ability to just pour out shots. It yeah, makes yeah. It's, it's amazing. Isn't it? yeah. So how do you feel about your list then? Um, I like it. I think it's a, lot of, it's a lot of fun to use. You get to throw things into combat. Um, I think that it has a lot of really good shooting capability, which is kind of undone by the fact you could hide some of the targets yeah. away from yeah, I mean, me. The, the um, looters were really powerful, but they were yeah. muted a bit by the basilisks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, to do in future, I mean, I could uh, later on in the game, I could use the jump to move the looters up and accept that they're going to die, but maybe try and take out some of that stuff. Maybe. I did that earlier on in our previous game, yeah. and uh, that didn't work out too well, but I think I did it too soon. But you can get some mobility in from the looters, so I should have tried to deal with those mortars earlier. Maybe, better. yeah. yeah. Uh, and with the basilisk as well, but there was no way to really reach them. Um, Especially in the end game, yeah. Yeah, they were what started to turn the tide, really, just having that bit of shooting there that can just come again and again and again yeah. and start to chip away and, and earn those kill points. But I think overall, I do really like that list. I have worries about taking it to more competitive events because, like we said at the, in the intro to this battle report, there's two armies in the meta now that just turn off yeah. what looters do. Yeah. So yeah, what I need to do next is build an orc list, which is an orc list that doesn't rely on two specific stratagems yeah. that can be vectored or mm. plan generations in them making it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what the term's going to be for that Doesn't one. Off the They'll probably call it Gene Steel and Vector or something yeah. like yeah. that. It'll yeah. have a better name than that. Yeah, so there's going to need to be some changes. I don't think the looters are not reliable. They're fantastic, but they yeah. just can't rely on them in every single matchup. What about the mech guns? They're great. They're always great. They're massively swingy, but they're so, yeah. they're so, so good. I think good. that's the problem with yeah. the swing. Yeah, that was demoed by I fired two and I fired six, and I got the same, same number of shots yeah. out of both, or the same number of hits out of both. Um, yeah, but they are just great. They're so cheap. But they give away kill points too easily, again. But again, they're fairly difficult to kill unless you've got lots of individual high strength weapons. Yeah, they are. Um, yeah. Things like battle cannons, basilisks mm. going into them. 
Yeah. It's overkill sometimes. I'd like to take them along with maybe some Gorkonauts or some orc vehicles because then I think that people really don't want to shoot at them. Whereas with that list, it's really if you've got anti tank weapons, you might as well be chucking them into that yeah. and taking kill points off me. But if I can have them there and there's something else that they want to shoot at a bit more, if only the stomper was good. <laughs> why, why is it so bad? Please fix the stomper. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I like that list. It's a fun it's list a to use, but there's going to be some changes on the way, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's still strong. It's yeah. still strong. Um, I think they're yeah. both strong lists. They both, I think that's why the result is so close, because um, they're both quite similar lists in terms of like having really good board Theory. control. Yeah. I mean, by the end of the game, we both just had stuff left in our own deployment zones, just and the centre of the board was empty. Shots. But for your two platoon commanders <laughs> sprinting across to... In fact, it was kind of that platoon commander who did line breaker who won the game, because yeah. that was the last point scored, really. Yeah. So yeah, it would have been. That just shows, yeah, just shows <laughs> the, power, <laughs> the power of those guard orders to be able to just get things done later on. They're, they're a great army, they really are. 28 points, yeah. guys. 28 points. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so if any of you fancy coming down, uh, challenging us, uh, feel free to get in touch. Messages on Facebook, we've got Instagram, Twitter, just send us all the messages. Uh, you can challenge either of us, or yeah. Dave, who likes to hide behind the camera. Um, so just let us know. Um, so here to present us with the coveted Dangerous Terrain Cups is Dave from the Forge Manchester. Here he is. So here we go, guys. Right, so on behalf of the Forge, it is my pressure and my pleasure to give this prestigious Loser's Cup. <laughs> so it's one point. And the Winner's Cup goes to the brave forces of the Imperial Guard. Thank you. Well, well done. done. Well I just done. want to say thanks big thanks as well cheers. to the Forge yeah. for letting us film down here today. Uh, we'll try and put the link up somewhere around here for you. Any gaming needs, please visit them. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.